Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tuesday. <laughs> I'm so, so excited. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What's up, everybody? It's Tuesday. Uh, today's episode of the prodca- podcast, podcast, I can't talk, is brought to you by our most loyal sponsor, Division Street Auto, located at 595 Division Street in Pawtucket, Rhode Island. Uh, you can go check them out for anything you need with the vehicle, whether it's uh, rotors, brakes, transmission fluid, new wiper fluid, uh, one of those continuum transfunctioner things, whatever you need, they're going to take care of you at Division Street Auto. Um, and I, they're very trustworthy. That's why I continue to take my vehicles there after five years of good service and counting. Also brought to you by Top Showroom and Gallery and Electrical Supply. Uh, you can get anything you need at Tops from connectors to pipe to wire. And they specialize in lighting, uh, new LED lighting, whether it's indoor, outdoor, under cabinet. You need fixtures. You need uh, drop ceiling fixtures. They got you covered. If you don't have the time to get down there, they can actually give you a quote out in the field. They'll come out to you, assess your needs, and hook you up. You can give Tops a call at 861-0695, and that's a 401 area code. They are located at 120 Point Street in Providence, Uh, Don't forget about Onlyville Tire, located in the heart of Onlyville down in Providence. They've been there since 1923. You can officially say that's older than sliced bread. Uh, Whether you need new tires, old tires, as Jay would say, you got to screw in your tire. Or if you want to screw on tires, go check them out down at Onlyville. You know, see Dory. Let her know you heard about about her on the podcast. She'll help you out. 401-421-1800. And last and certainly not least, we're brought to you by Donkey Dodgers Poker. Donkey Dodgers Poker is great for anybody that may be um, curious about poker. You know, maybe you've played online and you want to try playing live. Or if you just want a fun night out and you want to play some cards. You know, they have tournaments for as low as only $20 to get in. You get a free meal at the end of the night. You know, it's fun local bar setting. And it's just a great time to, to get out there and meet some new people and maybe win some money and, and learn the game of poker with people that aren't going to take it too seriously. But if you do want to take it seriously, um, if you play enough, you can get into special tournaments they have once a month for like $2,000 prize pool. You know, they give away a ton of money and their big one is once a year. You know, so you can win your way into a tournament where the buy-in is normally $10,000, the main event, the World Series of Poker. You can get in that sucker for only 20 bucks or 25 bucks. So check out Donkey Dodgers. You can find them on Facebook. Um, other than that, last but not least, we got JW and Sons Constructions. Uh, residential, commercial, whatever it is you need from cabinetry to laying the foundation of a house or just some repairs. You got a house, you got a store. Call up JW and Son 401 487 4134. And that's it for ads, guys. We made it. We made it. And we want to thank Miss Jenny Costa for coming on the episode today. Uh, She's going to have a lot of fun with us. She is a vegan activist. Jay looked at me weird. I didn't mean to have fun with us in that way, you pig. But uh, she's a vegan activist. Pig? She's like pig. Uh, Vegan activist, real estate agent, mom, wife, great friend. Uh, She's got a lot of interesting stuff to go over with us. So make sure you listen and enjoy. Time to talk some shit with the J Squared Podcast. Here we go. All right, what's up, everybody? Jenny, salute, guys. We're starting off correctly cilantro. this time. Cilantro? What does cilantro mean? Cilantro? <laughs> it's not cilantro. That's Mexican. Cilantro is Irish. It's Celtic. For cheers. Right? S-L-A-I-N-T-E. Ooh. All right, well... Miss Jenny Costa, my most famous vegan friend, who without you I would know nothing about veganism, never mind have eaten anything. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm super excited to be cool. here. Cool. Now we're excited to have you. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, obviously everybody knows Jay. Jay, say what's what up? up to everybody. <coughs> Give them the two Damn stupid no. dogs what up. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Jenny uh, just brought us some vegan food. I don't know if Jay has ever tried vegan food. I've tried like, vegetables. Vegetables. Is it, wrong to say, is it wrong to say vegan food? Is it wrong to say Pancakes. vegan food? 
I'm like, you know how those people eat. No. Um, I mean, I've had like a, like a Beyond Meat burger at home before from the freezer. It was, I think you told me I ate the wrong one. She had recommended one, and I ate. Yeah, the oh. one Sasha sent me a picture of. I hated that one. No names on this, please. Oh. No, I'm kidding. You're good. Oh. Everybody knows Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I tried it, and it, it was. It really turned me off. I'm like, damn, that's got to be just vegan food. Right. I I just pretty much summed it up all under like that's why I eat meat because that tastes terrible. But I she been just pretty weird. Sorry if you if you would have just said that really turned me on. <laughs> yeah, it turned me on. That, <laughs> fake, that big fake rubber meat <laughs> turned me on. Um, but Jenny just stopped at. Veggie Fun. Where's the spa? It's in Providence. Don't tell. Veggie Fun in Providence, guys. If you're interested at all about trying vegan food and you're worried about it not tasting yum yum, go to Veggie Fun because this fucking place was incredible. She hooked us up with General Sow, spare ribs, sweet and sour chick, not chicken, but sweet and sour protein. bean <laughs> protein. Whatever you. I mean, it's delicious. So I'm uh, not. I'm not saying I'm gonna be a vegan now, but it, it was good. Was yeah, it? I mean, you you absolutely. If you were blindfolded, you you couldn't tell the difference. You, one hundred and fifty percent, you couldn't tell the difference. Maybe the slightest bit in texture, if you guessed right. If yeah, how would you right. describe it? It's a little less meaty. <laughs> right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, but like you couldn't. I mean, that was. I, I was shocked. I was actually <laughs> kind of throw that joke that. out there. I heard the joke on the low. Are like, you close enough to the? I, I don't want. Did Am you I miss not? the joke? Can, can she hear? I mean, can she hear? Uh, can you hear? <laughs> can you hear? I mean, her? I could scoot in. Scoot. Scoot, scoot. You scoot just want to be about. You want to be about a fist away from it. How, George? Well, <laughs> what are you doing back there, George? I feel like I need a little what was the joke fist. I missed? Well, uh, you said like less meaty or meaty or something, and she said that's what she said. Ah. I just feel like you know, it's a good. It was a good time to <laughs> own that shit. You know, that's good. We can use that. So why don't you? <laughs> anyway, yeah. I don't know where we're going with that. What do you want to say, man? I just stop. I want to be. I want to encourage you. If you want to tell a joke, say the joke proud. I would. So I think veggie fun. First of all, number one, like it's Asian, what Pan Asian vegan cuisine. Like I, there's two types of food that I love, and that's Mexican and Asian. Any kind of Asian, Thai, Vietnamese, Cambodian, Chinese. Rice whatever. is rice. Rice is rice, but I mean. So, like, I'm definitely, absolutely 150% going to go, you know, go to this place and check yeah, it out. They and have I, really I, good I so appreciate, you know, you uh, kind of opening my eyes. Just even having a bite. All I did was take a, bite, a couple of bites. <laughs> Bro, we housed a lot of that in about five minutes. Like, <laughs> like there's I not much believe left. believe it. Um, you said they have good drinks, too? Yeah. How does that, how, how are you affected with drink like when you when it comes to drinks can you get whatever you want are there vegan approved drinks or not or e, there yes everything there you don't have to worry about so alcohol or this restaurant or just alcohol this in general? restaurant um i mean unfortunately there's a lot of non-vegan alcohol uh a lot of wines most beers are what would be in wine it's just the way they make it there's Excuse me. some sort of animal fat animal product in gotcha it. in a wine Come I on. thought people yeah. just step like grapes. You step on them and boom, yeah, one. There's yeah, this like app that I use called uh, Barnivore mm -hmm. that you type in whatever, like whatever, if you're at the store. That's clever. The store. Barnivore, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. So you type it in and it lets you know if it's vegan friendly or not. That's pretty cool. That's super helpful. I, I would always assume that, you know, when we grew, we grew up, you live your whole life, just go to the grocery store, get your food. To make so much, such a life changing, like, selection of what you eat. That's a whole, now you're it's a whole new task to something that you've done every day, which is just buy right. the food. Now you have to read the labels. Now you might read the labels and not understand exactly like off the ingredients whether or not there's byproducts in there because yeah. you had us watch a documentary. Um, I watched it first of all. Let did me you just watch say it? I did, and um, within intense, the first right? ten minutes, yeah, Sasha had to leave the room. She was oh, like, yeah. I can't watch this, and I'm just like, what? It's making me hungry. No, I'm kidding. Don't, <laughs> don't say that. But uh, yeah. it, I was surprised because. From what it seems, and correct me if I'm wrong, it could be a combination of two, but usually in the conversations that I've had with you, or what I, from, a, from what you post on Facebook or whatever mm -hmm. the case is, it seems like your reason for being vegan is more like for the rights of animals. Right. N not that the health part isn't important, but it, it doesn't seem like that's your motive behind everything. No. And with <clears throat> veganism, that's just it. it. It extends to 
your diet, but veganism is an ethical stance against animal exploitation, animal abuse. So you could eat a plant-based diet, but that ne doesn't necessarily mean you're vegan. You know, you right. could still wear leather, you could still go to the zoo, you could still buy household products that test on animals. I mean, oh, that's interesting. animal exploitation goes beyond just food. It's just since we do that at least three times a day, that's our main, that's where the habits and the convenience get like... A 180 because you're like all right now you kind of have to relearn how you eat i mean 100 percent. i wasn't vegan for the first 32 years of my life and almost every single meal had meat around it i mean if we didn't it was either like on a meatless monday or and it's like oh we're not gonna have meat you know and it was pretty much right like it's we a forgot to defrost yeah, whatever true. we had meatless monday fuck right. mom take it out of the so freezer wait, so just because <clears throat> Let's say you, you, you take meat out of your diet. That doesn't mean you're vegan. No. I mean, like, if you're wearing leather, like you said. Right. So, v correct me if I'm wrong. Veganism, is that is that even the right word? Is that yep. the right Veganism. Veganism, yeah. Veganism. Veganism. That is actually more of um, just protect, kind of protecting the animal? Or is yeah, that, it's like a... F regardless of what you... Not regardless of what you eat, but I'm saying, like... Yeah, it's just it's more centralized around the animal, not necessarily ethics, just yeah. dietary habits. Right, because and ethics, right, right. Yeah, I mean because the thing is, you know, you could watch a documentary once or twice and be like, "Oh, that obviously I, that puts me off my food. I don't I just won't watch it." And, you know, you could continue, maybe you won't eat meat for that week or something, but you could, you know, fall back into to those habits because you don't have like an ethical stance so much so when you when you come to like let's say you're hungry and it's convenient to just go get your food you know at a drive through or whatever you know you you lose what you're vegan what that really means to you so and it's more than just me i mean it's the eggs and milk too right because vegetarians because those are byproducts of right right and vegetarians and is meatless can you can you explain to us the difference between vegeta vegetarians and let's say veganism and Absolutely. i mean in like a couple sentences i, I, right, I don't right. want a whole documentary you know yeah. whatever <laughs> well back in no, no. calm your ass down jenny so she got way too excited at that she's like oh can i it's pretty much you don't so vegetarian is a meat free diet they still right. consume milk from cows eggs from chickens. chickens right veganism again is an ethical stance against all animal exploitation including the dairy and egg industry and all the other industries that you know we talked about previously that exploits animals wearing alligator skin boots and right absolutely like you said zoos the caging yeah. the animals and mm. yeah because you know and it's it sucks because i know they like to promote it that it's like habilitation and i have no problem with that um but I do have a problem with captivity, and I think that's where most vegans do. If they were there to, like, help the animals and, like, they couldn't survive on their own, which a lot of times, like, unfortunately, the ones bred into captivity, they can't. Um, but at the end of the day, they're there to be used for our entertainment. And see, I, I, I'm sorry, were you, were you about to say something? No, I, listen, I, I noticed listen. last year, I think it was last year, the year before, I went to uh, Roger Williams, the zoo there. Right, right in Roger Williams Park, the bald eagles that they had, one of their wings was fucked up. And I, and I, I was like, I wonder, did, I'm hoping that the zoo didn't do that so it wouldn't fly out of the, you right. know, the display or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe they they took that and now they're caring for it because they knew that if without his wing, he's going to die out there. So I'm wondering, is there a, you know, like when they, when they do put these animals in captivity, as you, as you call it, um, is it to help them or is it – are they actually taking them out of their habitat and for display mutilating these animals right. I don't think there's for one profit? Un, I don't think there's one umbrella answer to that. It probably depends yeah. on the zoo, it, on the establishment, on the animal. You know what I mean? Like, like some all animals. the animals fucked well, up actually, somehow. Well, actually, like, a protest at Roger Williams Zoo because there was an article that came out. Um, mm -hmm. They were the worst – they treat their elephants really bad, like with those poach sticks. I don't really know what the way, right word is, but Are those Roger the ones Williams that zap came them? up as one of the top ones that to mistreat their elephants. And it's like, come on now. And well, let me ask you. I'm sorry. I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah, Where is the standard for treating elephants? Like, should you not interfere at all? Like, no, is there a manual? Is there a, like... Well, just let them be and don't poke them with, like... 
so they could go the way you want to go, you know? It's like they're kept in this, you know... Is it subjective? I guess that's what I'm asking. Is it, So, like, your your interpretation of what would be cruelty to an animal might be totally different than somebody else might be like, so what, they're poking them with sticks, like, who right. cares? Right, yeah. I mean, and that's the whole... How, how do you... You know, vegans versus mm. not, it's like, their views... Are, are all like, vegans on that same page? I guess that's where I'm... Um, I, most vegans are against... Zoos, aquariums, okay, all right. circuses, gotcha. definitely circuses. I, I agree. I'm not a vegan, but I agree with that 100. percent I don't like the idea of, t- you know, just taking an animal for your entertainment and locking it in a cage. Right. You know, it's like you do that to a human. You know, like it, it's a prison. You know what I mean? They get their meals a day, yes, but they have a very, you know, like none of it is natural to them. You know, they can't no, roam around and do not. what they want to do. So, what's that, uh, what's I'm not that a big zoo view person. Around that smaller zoo. Capron Park. You, you, have you been there? No, I don't think There's so. There's a smaller zoo. I didn't even, I've never it's even heard of that. It's in Mass, but it's like right. If you went to that zoo, like I think I've been there twice with family things or whatever. Every time I go there, I'm instantly depressed. Like right. it is tiny. There are lion enclosures that are like, I don't know, 20 by 20 or something. It's insane. Right. How, right. Let me ask you, I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate here. How do you feel about, let's say, a maimed animal that would, in their natural habitat, would die or not survive? You know, like the let's say the bald eagle. I'm just I don't know what their intention was, but I'm I'm just you know for conversation's sake. What if they're actually keeping it alive and 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 helping it now, whereas let's say without a wing, it would surely die. Right. Well, I mean, again, I, I guess it depends. It falls back on animal use, and obviously they're making money off. I don't think they're they're really exploiting. Out. Yeah, I don't think so much they're looking out for their animals best interest nah, these zoos the are for profit they're, organizations they're, yeah, I mean, it's they, profit. they make money but is there is there a problem making a profit off of let's say a maimed animal that Why would not? die anyway we do it with humans i mean uh, yeah we're we're <laughs> we're interrupting the natural life cycle yes but i'm saying as far as veganism goes that's why i guess that's the scope that's the capacity that i'm i'm trying to hone in on i mean we're we want the best for the animals right that's kind of the whole Absolutely. mantra yeah but I, I think you could do that without locking them in cages and parading them around for an audience you know like if you really just want to have an animal sanctuary as like a non-profit to genuinely just but help the animals money isn't there expenses well, there? it's a non-profit you know people can donate you can you can get anything funded if if you know by many different avenues you know it doesn't have to be exploitation of them to then pay for them because then it's just it's a revolving wheel now this animal's making you money after you've rehabilitated it these companies aren't just going to say, oh, let's get rid of it now. It's healthy. No, they're yeah. going to keep making that money off of it. Well, I'm saying, and I'm, like, I'm just assuming that's how zoos work, right. you know? No, no, I, I totally get that. I'm just looking at the fact that, again, like this this bald eagle, or both of them, actually, there was two, they would, they would die in their natural habitat with less, less one wing. I mean, maybe it's a recovery kind of mission for the zoo. Now, granted, yes, they are they charging people to see it and they're putting it on display? Absolutely, but... Jenny? Maybe that also covers the cost, the medical cost of of facilitating such an animal. Maybe it's a maybe it is a lion. Maybe the lion's missing a dick. I don't fucking know. Maybe the <laughs> that's fucking called a lioness, sir. It's yeah, whatever. Lioness. Maybe like you know, I don't know. They got a fucking yak that's missing a fucking toe. I whatever. I, oh, I, I guess what I'm I'm saying is that are, are we for sure? Do we know for sure that zoos are solely, I guess, a negative thing for animals? Is that like a done, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm ignorant. I mean, obviously, the word sanctuary sounds a lot better. And when you use captivity, that sounds, you know, more yeah. but that, towards I mean, the narrative. What else can it be? I mean, you could say that it's where they're. You could call home, it a prison. Their home. Well, it's kind of like the illegal where... immigrants. You know, they come over here, they're, they're fleeing from, you know, uh, you know, from their problems. That's another conversation. Is, is it a sanctuary? Is it, or is it. You know, well, no, 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 because the animal, or is that's it? different because the animals aren't fleeing here. We're going and getting them or breeding them. I, I'm you saying know, in yeah, the context of what. It's not in what? their best interest. If it was, I mean, we're all for what's in their best interest. interest. I mean, obviously, obviously the if be- a dog's suffering, you're going to euthanize it. You know, if an animal's suffering, you're going to put it out of its misery. Hmm. That's, you know, there's, it's a gray area to an extent, but again, it comes down to, you know, what is, what is their main purpose? Is it to for people to make money off them and you know keep them in zoos and circuses and whatnot or is it to look up after their best interests even you know after they can't produce whatever it is they're there for right like if that elephant stops being able to stand up or do whatever it is if he doesn't want to go out and you know 
make noise in front of the kids anymore and people stop looking at that exhibit is the zoo still going to care for that elephant and make sure that it's safe to return to its habitat or whatever well i don't know i i feel like i think zoo i mean george you can i don't know if you can check this out but if i had to guess i would say more often than not zoos are for profit and not really for the rehabilitation of animals that's in general yeah that just seems obvious to me i i wanted to touch base on the documentary you suggested because i go in at you know as i'm not a vegan i'm a meat Mm -hmm. eater and I go in whether it's you know for um, something that I believe in or against something I believe in. I'm super skeptical of every documentary I watch because there's usually a narrative that they're trying to push. You know, so when you recommend in this documentary, I, obviously I know going into it that this program is going to try to sell me on why I should become a vegan, which I'm okay with because I, I feel like I can take, you know, try to just take the data from it when they there's data presented and make sense out of it. <laughs> It's easy to play, you know, sad music and show me baby chickens grind it up and pull on my heartstrings, which it does. Like I'm like, oh shit, that's terrible, but that's not. I feel like it's it was a little over not over dramatic because it was happening, but it really um, focused in on the worst of the worst. You know, if I looked at, if I looked at that video alone, and if you told me, hey, every single piece of meat that you could ever eat is treated like that, then I wouldn't do. It. I would say that I'm never gonna eat meat again. But do you think that? In your perfect world, is every human being a vegan? Um, <clears throat> I mean, in a perfect world, we should all strive to. I mean, I'm not even a perfect vegan. There is no perfect vegan just by okay, fair existing. Enough. You know, we're going to cause harm. We're going to cause intentional harm, but, you know, uh, farming our crops, you know, running over whatever, stepping on whatever on our way to wherever. Like, mm. it's bound to happen. I mean, I... People take medicine that's been tested on animals. You know, you know what I mean, though. As right. far as what, like, let's say eating, let's keep it to eating for right now. Okay. Like, in, in your, if you say, hey, in an ideal world, every human would not knowingly eat dead animals, yeah. the flesh of animals. So, do you know how they got that footage that you watched from Dominion? I'm, I'm assuming that they probably had to pose as undercover. workers. They I know it's undercover because one thing that I think is completely fucked up is I believe that it's illegal to go to these, you know, oh, yeah. industrial farms and record shit, which mean, to me is, is fucking absurd. You know what I mean? It's what? private property, but at the end of the day, you know, is it really because the FDA has to regulate what they can feed us? It's so it, you should be able to yeah. record what's going on. It's private property, but <clears throat> these places it's a gray are being area. transparent. You know, it's a gray area. Because like you said, if most people saw that footage, they would be beyond themselves. And honestly, I can't even really put myself through it. But The footage? <clears throat> The, few, yeah, the footage is pretty rough, but again, I, I feel it's, like that highlights the worst of the worst. Can you you can't say that you feel every farm operates that way? It you know at the end of the day, I don't think every single farm uh, like operates like that. But ninety nine percent of where our food comes from is factory farm. Right. It doesn't matter if you buy it in a supermarket or you get it in a drive through. It's ninety nine percent. One percent is you know raised on a nice farm. But how do you feel about footage, with, how do you feel about with that one percent? Let's say if, if you knew that I gave you know a cattle or a cow a good life, treated it humanely, you know, fed it a good diet, it was happy, and then it came to the day where that cow, you know, we're gonna slaughter it, and the quickest, you know, and a line that caught me from that um, humane. Yes, is there's really no humane way to kill something that doesn't want to be killed. Right. So I don't want to say humane anymore. You can treat it humanely while it's alive, but the second you decide to kill it, there's going to be some, you know, some uh, inhumanity there. Right. And they're not human, so it's a weird word to use. But <laughs> are you okay with somebody that does that? Or say, for example, somebody that goes out and hunts their food, you know, and they use that to feed their family for the year. Do you look at that as just as bad as buying from the grocery Barbaric, store? maybe. Or yeah. a little a little better, you know, because... At least they're not torturing that animal for the from the time it's born till the time it dies. I mean, all right. So here's my stance on that. Um, <clears throat> I honestly think when before you, you say that, I'm sorry. Let me in a really fast. Sure. Is this a personal stance or is this no. like kind of a, a stance as well, she's culture being, from? She's being vegan. paid. She's being it's, paid to feel yeah. this way. <laughs> Sponsored ad right now. <laughs> well, no, no, I'm saying, dude, do, collectively, do. it's a collect because I hear we hear it's this an agreed, it's an agreed upon sense. I yeah, do cubes of truth. I, I'm know. assuming that everything that I'm going to say, every question I have, or every I've like, heard, yeah. you know, opposing every rebuttal that I have, you've probably heard and you know, mm-hmm. are, are prepared, which I, I like because a lot of this is going to be learning for me because I don't understand sometimes why, why somebody that's a vegan might think the way they do or oppose, you know, the way that I feel yeah. about it. 
No, absolutely. Is it interrupting the natural life cycle? Is that what it is? I, no. What's the well, logic? I want to hear your answer because so, I think that's we can get to that. And yeah. That's a nice part of it. So going back to your question, I honestly think it's more of an injustice to kill an animal that had a good life. Like imagine you grew up and you suffered your entire life and then you go to this place, you get shipped off on this truck and you go, you smell fear, you smell blood, you know what, you pretty much know what's coming. You may not know like, oh my God, he's going to gulp on me in the head and then slice my throat, but you know, you know it's not good. Right. At the very least, that's your last day and you're being put out of your misery. I feel like animals that live on happy farms and then they get put on these same trucks and they're like, what the fuck is going on? You know, they feel like more of a betrayal. And like, then you just took this animal who had even more of a will to live because it had a happy life. And then at the end of the day, they're getting the same knife, you know, drawn across the throat. And the whole thing is, if we needed to eat animals to live and to even be healthy, I think vegans would be more on the welfare like, let's make it as good as possible mm. until their very last day. Mm. But the fact that we don't need, we don't need to anymore. Like, you can you know? survive off we of... We can no. survive. We, it's the, I mean, science proves that it's even more healthier to be on a whole foods, plant-based diet. The problem is it's just a major inconvenience for it most is, people. It which... is. And, you know, it's an inconvenience. It's habit. It's tradition. It's taste. It's I expense. Mean, it's probably more expensive it's, to it's have a vegan diet. It's expensive. If you want to get the alternatives, and that's just because, you know, they're not being subsidized right now. Farms, meat, the meat, dairy, and egg industry, they're heavily subsidized. That's why it's so cheap. Mm. But, but aren't there a lot of things that that we could live without uh, when it comes to food? When it comes, I mean, you, you can only, you can actually apply it to a, almost every aspect of life. But there's tons of foods that we could actually live without. Like junk food? Well, tons of things actually like in general, olive oil, like, like or cell phones, peanuts. Never mind, just yeah. food. Uh, you, you, you get what I'm saying. I'm just, I'm yeah, trying to, I'm no, trying to understand I, the logic, I guess, behind um, the uh, a vegan, let alone let's say a culture a, a, a vegan. And you know, I, I understand that we're we're trying to hone in on the, I guess the the quality of life for the animal. Is that is that accurate? Well, not so much the quality because, again, they all end up in the same spot. So it's the fact that we do it needlessly. We do it out of greed. We do it out of taste, convenience, habit. We don't do it because we need to survive like they did. Like, I wouldn't have never... But isn't that euthanasia also? No, because euthanasia, you're putting somebody out of this misery or... But aren't we assuming that? Because we're human. We're totally different than animals. Well, yeah... We're different, but we're the same. We're the same in the ways that matter. Meaning, like, I'm going back to the bald eagle without the wing. Should we kill it? Because it's it wouldn't no. survive in its natural habitat. Just let it be. Just let it be. I mean, but, it, but that's that the be- thing. That's what I'm saying. It, because it's in a zoo, we can let it be. But you know, if, if in a natural habitat, it would just die. Well, what's wrong with that? I mean, that that I is don't know. That's of life. I guess that that's what is I'm. Nature taking course. That has nothing to do with us intervening on the welfare and hmm. playing God with these animals, breeding them and, and killing them at our leisure. But isn't that euthanasia? Aren't we interrupting no. the natural cycle? Interrupting the natural cycle? Yeah, meaning when we... if we're putting animals to 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 die mm-hmm. I feel, on I, our own. I think you're... you're you, you uh, hold on. I saying? think you guys are... The problem is right now is we're talking about all animals and we have to separate pets. Which, when you talk about euthanasia and animals... Most of that probably is with your pet. All right, but well, we can't we can't compare that to like animals death, that we eat. Let, let, when we force death upon an animal for whatever reason, if we're assuming that it's suffering. We're you know no no. I, I think that's where it's getting mixed up because if you have a pet and you're assuming it's suffering, yes, you probably want to put it out of its misery. But that's well, not the same as going into the woods and killing something that's fully alive because you want to eat it. Or you know what I'm saying? Like a pet is like oh, it's a. I feel like we just have to separate pets from this conversation. Well, I didn't we don't say eat pets. pets. I, I'm saying animals in general. Just when animals you're talking across about the euth- euthanasia, that's usually what it's referring to. No, as a pet, that's well. No, I'm talking about forced death. It's not natural. Killing we're, we're interrupting. That's we're 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 <laughs> we're we're the catalyst to meaning like it's alive right now. Yeah, maybe it is suffering. Maybe it's not. I don't know. It looks like for again, I'm, I'm using the bald eagle as an example. We know that that bald eagle without the yeah. other wing, it's gonna die. Should we put it to death? What do you think? Or should we put it? in a zoo and take care of it and that kind of thing. I, I, and I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to go, ha ha, I gotcha. That's not what I'm after. I'm yeah. trying to understand 
the 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 logic, the foundational logic behind, I guess, the movement, the the culture. Yeah. That, that's I'm tr- and I, and I want our viewers to understand that also. Right. I think yeah, it comes I mean, down to winning the best life that we we possibly can. I mean, we according can- to the human standard, is that. Or is it according to the animal standard? According to, I don't know, the general standard? I mean... General well, surgeon? I, well, no, here, here, and, and I say on. that I think you can simplify this with one question. Is Should humans intervene with wildlife or should they not? The natural life cycle. Their natural life cycle. Saying. Should we so intervene like, or should we not? Put it this way. You know, dogs at one point used to be wild. They mm-hmm. were... They were all all animals were wild, right? We domesticated them. Uh, well, we domesticated them. I think, them. Yeah, I think we, dogs we descend from wolves. were actually right. like engineered and bred to be pets yeah, yeah. they were domesticated they all came sure. yeah that's called domestication yeah. right i don't know well, so let's say I've you know domesticated anything I, i'm i'm just i'm just trying to like get to a, like a point here so like dogs were were wild at some point we domesticated them now we're putting sweaters on them now we're putting fucking socks on them I now mean, we're putting glitter on their balls well, have you guys I, seen that <laughs> yes i did so <laughs> I, here, here's here, my balls. point here's here's what i'm getting to are humans taking an idea and running with it? Are, are we are we being extreme? Are we are we uh, totally personifying something that's not a human? Like we're just saying that. Hey, look! Oh, that dog's cold. Wait a minute! That dog has a, a coat of fur for the very reason of it, of the you know to fight mm. the climate. Why are we putting sweaters on a dog? Because we're just because we're humans and we just say, hey, look! No, he's cold. And that's relative to, I guess, what you're saying. Like, we, we assume that some animals are suffering. So, like, we're, are we intervening in the life cycle or saying, oh, well, let's just kill it? Or well, they could Isn't that counterproductive, us. They I could guess? tell us if they're suffering. I mean, just because they don't speak our language doesn't mean, you know, like, you can't tell if your dog's happy or scared or sick or, or limping. Like, Well, I'll give a perfect example. Chihuahuas, they, 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 ship, they shake, mm-hmm. you know? And when you hold them, they're like, you know, like we shiver when we're cold. Mm. You would just assume just because of our human personalities that the chihuahua is cold, but that's not it at all. You'd be like, oh, put a sweater on the chihuahua. Well, no, now you're, you know, you're, <laughs> you're doing something that, you know, is totally not, uh, it's not what you think, I guess. No, that's, it's not. But, you know, as a pet owner, you do have a responsibility to that pet and if you feel like they're cold i mean they live in a does that mean that they I mean, are cold i don't think certain breeds when they shake like doesn't mean that they are cold but i guess it depends i mean i know my dog for a fact gets cold when he's outside and it's freezing out and he's been out you know for more longer than five minutes or so i mean you could tell yeah i mean especially because a lot of these dogs have been i don't know biologically engineered to live in a very similar climate to what we live in you know, it's not like there are Alaskan Huskies that are, you wouldn't put sweaters on them to keep them warm. You know, usually you some see these. Some people do. That's what I'm some saying. Some people. But I feel like you, usually you see that with smaller dogs that, you know, they, who knows, like They man. carry around dogs in their purse and they and all kinds of shit. Like, some people are trying to walk their cats now. And and like to me, and I, that's where I agree. Talking. I'm like, you know what? I, I don't know what human humans, like, you know, we, we think these things. We're, we're, we're assuming Turning. that animals... Have the same exact like feelings. Influences. <laughs> like, the same exact take feelings the tequila, as, take as, the weed. as humans, and that's not the case. Meaning, a cow just because it goes moo doesn't mean it's in pain. That doesn't mean it's whatever. Maybe I don't know. Maybe his fucking I don't know. There's a piece of shit yeah, stuck in his cow, ass. I don't like, know. We're, I feel like we're we're really uh, getting sidetracked here. I think. No, we're talking. We're absolutely. Because <laughs> we're talking about like you know like cows and factory farming and. I don't know. I, again, I'm a little stoned, and I've had some tequila. But <laughs> I remember asking you if uh, if you thought that there was a difference between you know big industry and factory farming versus somebody that goes out and hunts their food. Yeah. Do you, you think neither of them are okay? I don't think they're okay now, just because of the time we live in. We have all right. alternatives. So my fo- my, my follow up question to that would be: So say there's a deer, you know, in the deer live out there and if there's a 90 percent chance that deer isn't going to live you know past a certain age because it's going to be eaten by a wolf i mean do you feel like that's okay we should intervene and think that that makes it justifiable but why not because that's nature that's the question if a wolf wolf eats a deer damn jay you're so so agree like why i'm (laughs) trying to figure this out yeah i know if If the wolf wolf eats eats a deer deer, i mean why did that wolf eat that deer one, he's a carnivore. Two, to survive. Definitely not vegan. 
No, definitely <laughs> not. And we don't, you know, animals don't have moral agency. We can't hold them to our standards of knowing right from wrong. Right. They do it out of necessity. They it's don't nature. Have, but yeah, it's nature. It's nature. But, but I guess the question on, is, let me, why let me is it follow. immoral? Why aren't, why aren't we nature? You know, like, we're human. You're like, we were still born on this earth, you know, at one point naked with no technology and only primitive instincts. And right. Ultimately, at one point, natural, you know, nature decided that we're strong enough to, to, you know, kill these animals and eat them. It was a necessity, I feel, mostly like back then. We evolved from primates that were herbivores. We are herbivores. And there were times back then where we had to do that to survive. I mean, the Stone Age, the Ice Age, like you needed to kill your food. You needed to eat those calorie dense so you think people in, you know, say way out in, you know, the fucking wilderness of Alaska that don't have access to agriculture, you know, and they right. can't grow their own food. Are, do you see anything morally wrong with them hunting and eating their food? I don't. If they don't have any other options, then no. I mean, again, like we're not putting ourselves, we're not okay. saying we're yeah, like please. right where animals are, you know, right. we should treat them equally. It's not that. You're it's saying that we shouldn't just dispose the of them. Inhumane treatment. It's, it's that... inhumane and it's yeah. needless because. Oh no, I still have some. Okay. Um, because we don't need to do that. Where we are right now, we could go to the supermarket and buy our meat neatly packaged. Nobody, you know, you don't even have to see yeah. the actual slaughter. It is so we're so far disconnected from the actual process mm. that it's. I mean, people don't don't think of their hamburger being a friggin' cow right that was clinging to its mom or... you know like yeah especially i mean could you imagine if kids really knew where that came from and you make like, a great point so why? how do you feel about about let's say us chopping down a tree and nobody thinks about our paper as trees or the wood on my desk as being a living tree no yeah we're we're all for not <laughs> chopping down trees when we don't is, is that part of uh, and I'm uh, again I'm ignorant so I like no, I'm gonna no, have, no, I have tons fine. of questions. I love the questions. True. I love True. the questions because I get them. I get them a lot. I get them a lot. And, and I guess that's where I'm trying to I'm trying to understand the foundational logic. Is it against life or is it against living things? Is it do, do, do trees and plants? Should I not cut my yard? Should I not mow yeah. the grass? Because you can, it's a, you can no, do no, I'm, 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 I'm 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 being serious here. Yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to be funny. Think, where does it stop? Where where is the line when right. you know? Do you believe in, bo- in abortion? I mean, uh, or bro. that's life also. Bro. No, and bro. I'll pass on that question, but ethics aside, Smart right, <laughs> we use way too much resources for animal agriculture. Like, so many more trees are getting chopped down. Deforestation. Just to feed 80%. and house Is that animals. part of the vegan culture? Plants also. What do you mean? Like, Meaning, do plants have feelings type? No, no, no. I'm saying, like, so ve- vegans are looking out for animals, Mm -hmm. like, in their uh, well-being, quality of life type thing, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Does that also apply to plants because they're also living? Earth. It applies to being... So how do we eat vegetables? How do we eat uh, that kind of thing? I mean, okay, so like I said, I'm just confused, I guess. We destroy... I mean, in America alone, 50% of our crops are going to fatten up livestock. Right. 50%. Oh, that's a, that is a lot. lot. That's a yeah. lot of land usage. That's a lot of food going to these animals that at the end of the day, they're just going to die. I mean, mm. we have poverty, you know, in so many different countries. We have enough plants and we'd have to, like, if the world went vegan, which unfortunately it won't overnight, but if the world went vegan, we would have so much more land that could just, you know, take its course and not be grazed and chopped down and anything like that. And we would have so much, we'd have way more enough food to feed the whole planet. But, I, you know, I, again, I, and I'm sorry, I, again, I'm not tr- really trying to pin you against the wall, feel like, you're, or anything like that. I'm, I'm just trying to understand, even going vegan and eating solely plants, farmers kill a lot of things. They kill bugs, rodents, they kill right. mice. rodents, mice, right. blah, blah, blah. I mean, tons of things to eat those plants. Yeah. I mean, isn't it just kind of part of a... I don't, no, 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 natural process to, to survive? Case, yeah, I mean, like I said, us being, we're the biggest pest on this friggin' planet. So just by just by being here, we're going to cause indirect and direct harm. Influence and effect. Right. right. So, yeah, like crop, 
you know, animals dying for crops and stuff. I mean, that's indirect harm, and it's. You I know, think that's direct harm because you know you have a lot of these these farms and these fields that spray their crops with pesticides like that yeah, is why do they do that that's only to kill animals yeah to cultivate their the For food right? so they won't so they won't eat so they're, they're killing plants. animals to feed people to feed vegans you know there's not much of it <laughs> <laughs> <And, laughs> to, to feed the animals that you eat <laughs> yeah but, but it's both Sorry. so i i mean do you value a, a cow's life more than you would a field mouse or let's say a tree or Listen, definitely a tree value, yeah i'm gonna I be honest life. i value a, an animal's life more than i value a tree that's All a whole right. other conversation. Yeah. But well, it is, it. but I really hope we get there because the plants, though, is w- an, uh, like an excuse that we use all the time we hear all the time right but as far as cultivating i mean you could say it's direct harm but there's a difference between an animal being bred into existence fattened up and fair. slaughtered fair right they go they get shipped to slaughterhouses then a field mount, uh, uh, they're not they're wrong they're place not, wrong time That's, exactly they, they ch- if they yeah. can they could get away no problem they're not being enslaved they're not being held you right. know against their will um so That's yeah, I mean, again, I, I feel it's more of an indirect harm. And, you know, hopefully when we take care of the main causes of like, what's bringing this world to shit, then yes, more ethical farming like that, that will be easy for us. I mean, we're, we're there in technology, you know, like we mm. just, we got to catch up. And animal now, agriculture has a huge... What's, I'm sure that, you know, if you, because you go to rallies, you know, you go to protests at uh, colleges i saw that you were at yale recently yeah we did a cuba truth there what's cuba truth explain that so it's a demonstration that anonymous for the voiceless where um an organization a worldwide organization and we do cubes of truth where we pretty much that you know there's two sides to it there's an outreach team and then there's a cube team and there's people that form a cube that hold up signs that say truth and hold up footage uh, undercover footage of factory farming again, like, and of free range, you know, the most ethical places. Mm. And then the people on the outreach team, when we have bystanders come and ask us questions, look at the videos, um, we have conversations with them about why we're there, gotcha. what we're advocating for. All right. Uh, so that, that's what I, I've seen that, you know, the videos that you, that you mm-hmm. post that you're there. Um, how do you like when <laughs> people laugh at me? So you, I just can't help myself. I just feel like every time she brings up a good point, you're just mind blown. Well, I am. I, I, I well, have you, so many questions, and I, right. I just, you you run into all these people. <laughs> so you must run into people that bring up the argument of what about population control? You know, for yeah. example, like like deer. You know, in some parts of the country, if there were no hunting seasons, the population of these deer would just run rampant and take over communities and force people out of the neighborhoods. Right, but again, if they weren't being killed by so humans, the reason why they're overpopulating is because the predators that used to hunt them pretty much got extinct or had to like move, you know, away from where we decided to build where we were going to live and whatnot. So, you know, the whole, I feel like that whole system, it's out of it's as out a result of, of what we've as done, of what we've done, yeah, and how we've lived. That makes sense. But and, we're here now, though. So, what do you what do you right. propose at these these communities do or these neighborhoods do to where if there's no hunting season for these deer, you know, they're going to reproduce and repopulate at a, an alarming rate to where, you know, it would just be an infestation of deer everywhere in a, you know, suburban neighborhood. Do you propose that they leave that neighborhood and give it back to the deer? Or? No, I mean, that's a tough question because, you know, my Josh stance Pilardi on it is the just tough questions. Leave, them, <laughs> leave them alone, you know, like they... When it comes to, like, our safety, you know, there's something, there's a difference between self-defense and, you know, just convenience. You know, if they're, we pretty much took over their land, you know, they didn't take over ours. It's bigger than convenience, though. I mean, because it's like, if, if there are raccoons that are scattered all over the neighborhood, you know, that can be an inconvenience a little bit. You know, you have to step over them or you see them rats. Yeah, you see them, they're gross to look at. But deer, I mean, if think about deer if there were as many deer as there are rats you know in like a city like Pawtucket or providence like or in anywhere like just an, a, um, a deer urban in the sewers. neighborhood every of of an area you know it would stop traffic you know it it would just it would be like a everybody's way of life would be majorly affected yeah i mean or what if i'm sorry i didn't mean to interrupt no, but okay. what if it's an animal you know like um like grizzly bears or wolves 
to where these pose an actual threat to human lives? Well, I mean, obviously, if it's a threat to us, we have every God-given right to defend ourselves. Gotcha. You know, that I totally agree with. I mean, if it was me against a bear, like. <laughs> so you're okay with like, um, so you're okay with bear hunting season or you know people that hunt bear. Absolutely hunt not. No, she's not okay with that. No. But if I, I, I'm cool with why not? somebody defending themselves if they came across one. But yeah, but this I'm is not cool are you cool with somebody life. hugging a bear? <laughs> no, but <laughs> seriously, like, so these <laughs> but these hunting this. these hunting seasons and you know the the ability for hunters why to go laughing, out George? you know and hunt bear or hunt wolves, it's to prevent them from you know coming into the communities. Like you don't want to be reactive I mean, with that. You got to be proactive. Cool, though. Like they might use that as an excuse, but did George, we even can you look up like dangerous wolf populations or dangerous bear populations in the uh, the country? Well, they have those definitely. I mean, yeah, well, can you just look it up? Because she said, you know, says who? I want to find out who actually what the statistics are. Where there's a danger of these um, species being overpopulated. Yeah. Them in California too. What about that's, people that's that what identify I think of right as away. a bear or a wolf? No more tequila, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying no, to keep the, it light. This no, no. I mean, it's not a light conversation. You know, it's it's almost like a, a form st- of poacherism. Yeah. Poachery, I still don't. Whatever you call I, it. I mean, I still don't like understand. I'm sorry. Go ahead. We're not really. This is not our everyday life. You know, if this. Well, it is kind. It's of. not our everyday life. But if you it's live in global, if you live in Northern life. California, where there's a high population, or like Washington, where there's a higher population than grizzly bears, then we we don't know anything about. Right. You know that, hey, man, like it's only a matter if these people aren't here hunting in the woods to kill these bears, it's only a matter of time before they just naturally push their way into our neighborhoods. And like bears will eat a kid with no no problem yeah, at all. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, again, like, like, I have no, but I, that's it's not like, oh, shit, there's a bear, let me shoot it. It's you have to actively go hunt them, or inevitably the population is gonna intervene. So one, one example is Montana. They said in Montana they have a uh season where they have archery season for wolves to take out 305 wolves and the reason is because they literally come into all the neighborhoods attack there was attacks on dogs like families children things like that so they said that they have to basically have a record or a wolf hunt every year to be able to control that population so you're but you're okay with that that sucks I'm not, I'm not trying to like yeah, you, like no, you no, said. No. I'm not trying to have you be like, "Fuck you, got me." <laughs> yeah, it's not. A, I, I got your moment. If I was yes. in that scenario in that area, <laughs> gotcha. then yeah, I mean, I would feel like we. Ha- it's more. You have to because you know. At the end of the day, it's our. Safety. You know, winter is coming. Like the Night King is marching. If you don't go and kill them, come down, Game of Thrones. <laughs> well, that's ultimately what it is. You know, like, hey, if our hunters don't go and take care of this problem now, next year or the following year. It's going to be the kind of problem that gets Can people killed. Can we all killed. agree, though, that, I mean, like, we're, okay, we're humans, we're on this globe, we're on this planet, um, we have a dominance over animals, naturally, right, intellectually, uh, you don't see deer and bears. Possible thumbs, that's a big one. Deer and bears building civilizations and innovation and invention, you don't see animals doing that, right, necessarily, not like, no, you know, what is that, not on this what planet. What does that mean, like, is that... Just that justifies us. Yeah, we're gonna go into some Jesus shit right now. No, no, no. I, I guess what <laughs> no, I'm getting no, at. No, I won't bring that up. I understand Jay's, what, Jay's what, you're, about what, what you're about to say. I, I, I guess I'm just trying to. Again, I'm still trying to understand the logic, the foundational logic behind it. Why not kill an animal? Tell, tell me, short. You know, in short, why not? Because Who cares? They're they're more like us than you think, and they're sentient. Is that scientific or is yes. that is that subjective? Is that your opinion? It's, they have one brain just like us. They have one what heart. What are you talking about physically? You're not talking about emotionally and... No, emotionally... No, I'm not talking about emotions. I'm talking about... Emotionally, they might be. I mean, they could be sad, happy. Cognitively, they may not be able to communicate they, the way aware. that we do. We know so on the aware. scientific biological food chain that... Oh, not even on the food chain. On the chain in general... That we are dominant over animals. Is what that you, correct? What can do we you admit mean to dominant? And, hold on. We're I more think, intelligent. Can I try to answer this? More intelligent. We're more intelligent. Yeah, more intelligent. Um, we create where animals necessarily don't. Not in our capacity. Meaning we build Ooh. civilizations. We we can invent uh, where animals can. We're right. at the top of the so food chain. So we could build bombs too and, jo- and right. drop them on people. Absolutely. And animals can't weapons. do that. Okay. So that means it's justified to... To needlessly kill them? I don't know. I'm asking you. That's what I'm saying. I, I'm no, saying. It's not. <laughs> I think she's if answered that clearly. Me, <laughs> no, no, no. She's like, all right. If you ask me, no. it's not because they could. They feel like us. They want to live just as they much f- as we do. We might be more intellectual, yeah. 
But that doesn't give us the right. I mean, there's people who aren't as, you know, they have disabilities that do, do, because they're not as Let's intellectual. Let's kill them. <laughs> exactly. It's a big difference. Well, no, no, so those uh, are people. I'm looking at... Uh, right, Same species. Exactly. And there's a difference... It, or let me ask you, do you see a difference between animals and, and humans? Meaning, throughout Jenny? science, no, right? I in, that up. <laughs> you might need this game. In, the, in the history of science, <laughs> you want some soda to chase that? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> uh, throughout the, let's say, the, the history of science, and again, I, I'm so not, and I'm sorry if I'm coming across this way, I'm not trying to. I got you. I'm not. I'm not trying no, to. No, I want. I'm really you to trying like, to understand. I want you guys to like. To throughout it. throughout <laughs> science, the big fish. In, I'm, I mean, I'm being. I'm giving you a synopsis, of like a real short. The big fish eats the little. The little fish. That's just. That's just what happens. Okay. It ha- you know. Right. Um, we as humans, we're on top of the food chain. Are we though? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. I'm gonna. Agree Absolutely. 150. Very seldom do I agree if with him, but a, I gotta agree with him. If you put a weapon in your hand, yeah. But Not we, even we just made, the weapon. Well, no, we have to though because we so made those me weapons. So you're telling me that if you are in a room with a lion, right now, because you're on who top built of the that picture. room? I'm not saying the room. <laughs> well, no, you, you said a room. All right, so <laughs> if, all right. uh, so we're, if we're out in the woods, over <laughs> yeah. here, and you come across a lion, just you and that lion, do you really think you're on top of the food chain? Well, let me ask you. There was there was a an incident very recently where a man choked and killed. A mountain lion. Yeah. Oh, very different, bro. Okay. 60 pound mountain lion, 400 pound lion. Put it this very different in size. Very different. Lucky, Let, let's put okay. it this way. Well, well, let's put Pretty it this sure way. It depends what element life. you're in and whether, but when you take well, away let me guns, give you a, hold on. When you take away guns or weapons, you're taking away something that we created, which is unfair. You know, like I feel like if you're going to compare That's like them, saying, hey, a, a lion guys, without claws. No one's going to argue that we're not the smartest being on this earth. We're the top of the we're food chain. We're going to argue we're Dominant? not at the top of the food chain. We are. First of all, if we were at the top of the food chain and we were carnivores, we would eat it raw. We wouldn't, you know, we cook our meat. We season our meat. We go, we don't, we buy it in, cho- we don't. Like but, well, eat the brains. Pre- we don't preparing the our food is totally different than who kills who. That's just for taste, too. That's a necessity. It's Meaning, I, we'll put it this way. So if there were strictly lions on this earth and strictly humans, mm-hmm. there would be no more lions. Well, because, again, we're intellectual and we could... That, that, so you're proving my point. That, I guess that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I'm not, again, I'm not trying to make. Ah, I got you. He's like, <laughs> I'm not trying to play gotcha, <laughs> but... I'm not. Gotcha. I'm, no, no, no. I, I'm saying, you, you know... We're, we are we are dominant. We humans are dominant to animals. We're dominant to yeah. other forms of life. But, okay. But we there's a next level to what we are, and that's um, ethic. You know, being ethical and making a decision. I mean, I still love your food. Ma- well, we, no, 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 that's it's, fine. It's being able you to make. What? And I just want you to. I want you to <laughs> well, Jenny, well, you, I think fucking veggie a point fun. that I, I, I kind of it. I can understand where you're coming from, and all vegans come from because we're all, we're at a point where we're so intellectual that even though something may be. An instinct of ours, we know that hey, maybe this isn't the right thing to do. You know, there's like a moral compass. I don't know if animals have that. We don't know. Animals but humans, don't have moral agency. Humans we do. do because if my instinct, if you make me angry and my instinct is to, you know, to kill you, right? I shouldn't follow that instinct. You know, like a, why? Because my brain is letting me know that hey, ethically this is wrong. Is it you know, something that's instinctive? It is. We're or compassionate. Is it, well, we're, no, hold on. Wait, compassionate. Just, is it instinctive or is it something that you were taught? I think the we were combination of both. An- eating animals. I don't think you're. Okay. Ta- I don't think you're well, taught about murder guilt. Or killing. I don't think you're taught. You know, guilt and regret. You know, those are just feelings that you kind of feel after doing something wrong. Yeah, you're conscious. You know, and I feel like at, a lot of times our instinct will guide us to do something that we'll later regret. Could you imagine? Could you imagine how many vegans there'd be if everybody had to kill their own food? <laughs> oh, oh, for yeah, sure. That's a whole other story. But that whole thing about having dominion on animals. Yeah. Because we oh, have I get moral the title. agency. I get the title yeah. of that documentary. Because now. we have moral agency and we know right from wrong, right? And it's not instinct for us to kill meat. You don't see a dog, you don't see a cow and be like, wow, that's Wait. that's tasty. Well, l- l- let me rebut <laughs> really fast. Hold on a second. That's a good point. No, let's go back in our Here, human like... history. Is it not instinctual to hunt, to that... survive? To, do we need to hunt to survive? When was the last time you hunted to survive? Oh, oh well, I'm, shit. I'm, 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 There's I'm, vegans I'm, that have been around when's forever. When's the last time you hunted don't, for anything? We don't no. need, well, we don't I'm, need I'm, to know. I'm asking. Back when, then we did, but we're not, we're not, we're in 2019 where we correct. have options. So why not, as decent human beings, pick the less, the one that causes less harm? 
shouldn't that be? But when something? you say harm, you're you're implying an intent, and and it's like I, that's <laughs> the, hard for me to swallow. The animals that, that, are harmed, bro. No, no, no. I I, I agree. I, I I agree. You know, okay, sometimes when I see dollars. some when I see some guy kick a pig, you know, that's to me that's unnatural. That's why? you know that's totally but unnecessary. If, but if we eat it and we think eating animals is natural, why do you feel that way? Have you ever like kicked a pig? Really thought about no, but just like no, even no. think because you Go know what, they so, eat pr- they eat dogs in China. You know, it's mm. all cultural. We eat our animals here. We make a big stink. For the Yulin festival when they kill and torture, you know, cats and dogs over there. What is the difference between eating a plant and eating an animal? So an animal... Oh, she's so ready to answer this question. (laughs) An animal has a central nervous system. You know, they feel pain. They have self-awareness. Plants are alive where they respond to stimulus. They respond to light. They won't... You could chop up a carrot and chop up a puppy, and then you could pretty much tell the difference. You know, there's no blood and guts. There's no brain. You don't need to dismember a it's parent. It's not fighting back. You don't but need wait, to put it in a hold on a second. House. We know that plants react. It's scientifically proven. I just, yeah, I just said it. I just said that that we they have stimulus. They respond to stimuli and they res- they respond to touch and they respond to light. But because but not they only, don't have, no, it, they actually respond to more than that. Sound. Meaning, well, yeah. Sound. Yes. Right. Right. Stimulus. Okay. But can but we they say don't that have... about animals? Stimulus? How, how, no, meaning... because the animal is alive. An animal. So is a plant. No, but an animal is self-aware. An animal has a conscience. Is it like... self-aware or yes. is it instinctual? Okay, does a carrot back up when you stab it? Or you come after a pig or no, but a, a chicken? No, pl- but a plant does if you take away its light. Meaning, or, or, or actually, let me reverse that. If you apply light to a plant, it'll grow towards it. Okay. But how is that the same as slaughtering an animal? I guess what I'm saying is that are are we applying human feeling to something that's not human, like an animal? No, no, no. Okay, but for, for one, we are animals. We're human animals. And animals wow. are non-human I, animals. I don't agree with that in any sense of the that's word. That's science. Animal. You could look that up right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to agree with hey, it because Je- it sounds Jenny funny, is J. J squared still works, listen, though. No, I, <laughs> Shit still works. Because this, you know, it really, it really gets Be, to Because me. somebody says that we're animals, we, we, we differ from animals we, by we a differ, long of shot. of course. I mean, we're, we're exploring we're space and deer are licking their balls. Right. You know what I'm saying? But well, that's only because we can't, Deer, yeah, that they, they have well, no, they have no bro, interest. If you, could lick your balls, if you could lick your balls, you wouldn't lick your balls. Are you kidding me, <laughs> bro? I wouldn't like, fucking leave my house. What do, you, goes, what do you mean if I could? All Listen, right. At the end All of right, the day, Jay, what were we talking about? The ways. I, I'm obviously, we know that. we're different. We know, yeah. we know we're different, right? But we are the same in the ways that matter, as far as being according to who? According to to science. I mean, it's you. But is prove, is that the foundation? Is bro, that let is her that, finish her point? You could prove that animals feel pain. Well, no. You could prove that animals feel joy. I mean, just look at the way they act. They have families. You could prove have that about ever, plants. Let her finish no, her but point. Plants aren't. They're not living, breathing. <laughs> yes, they are. Not, not like, like us. Not mic. like us. They're not sentient. Do you know what sentient means? I don't. I do not. Okay, George. look it up right now. And George, you read Because I, I don't know what sentient means either. I mean, it means they're You got to call him young Jorge, though. When you need him, you got to call him young Jorge. The whole point is they don't have a nervous <laughs> system. Just look up sentient. I don't want to I don't want to hear what you think. No. I want to hear what sentient means, because she said sentient three a times. Be- it's a living being that has feelings yeah. and nervous oh, yeah? they have Let me hear Webster's, bitch. I don't want to hear George's. They have like us. They have one brain like us. They mm-hmm. have two ears to hear out of like us. They use their senses like us. But they have one nose able like to us. feel things, perceive and feel things. Okay. Can you look this up for me real quick? Are there any sentient plants? <laughs> just look it up. I just want to know because you said that's the difference and, you between know, just us. Just to throw yeah. it out I gotta there, like I gotta people know. use that plants though, like, oh, like, but you eat plants. You know, at the end of the day, if you really can. I'm just trying to understand. You know, like the plants. <laughs> yeah, you, we know what you're doing. Animals <laughs> eat a hell of a lot more plants than vegans do. You know, so yeah. by default, you would be vegan if you were on that True. plant team. One thing that I saw in um, the documentary you suggested, we keep referring to this, guys. It's called Dominion. Um, you can watch it on Facebook, Dominion. I think it's from 2018. Um, yeah, or and, Earthlings. Yeah, and, and it was, you know, it's pretty um, a nice look at the, the gruesome truths of the what's really go- harsh reality. Yeah, the really harsh reality of what goes on at these big factory farms, most of them, probably close to all of them. Um, but one stat that they put up there that i thought was interesting because we're talking about what animals consume or 
yeah, what these animals consume just for us to be able to eat them. So there's obviously countries and even cities in the United States that don't have access to clean drinking water. But I think the ratio was that for one liter of dairy, of uh, cow's milk, it's required that that cow has 10 liters of drinking water. And that's just for us to it's, be able to, yeah, so for I us mean, to be able to drink one liter of milk, we have to sacrifice one liter of clean, uh, 10 liters of clean drinking water to get that one liter just, of milk. That's the whole point of like how much resources it takes to like raise these animals right. until it's time for them to be slaughtered. True that. You know, at the end okay. of the day. Any uh, sen- sentient plants? Uh, no, I mean, sentient in general is not for plants, but it says that new studies show that they can be more intelligent. Plants can be more intelligent than originally thought. The coolest thing I've ever seen about a plant, I, I think I heard about it on like a Joe Rogan podcast, is that there's a type of plant that if it hears a caterpillar crunching leaves from like 50 yards away, it actually secretes a secretion to make, it, uh, to make its leaves taste bad so it doesn't get eaten. So I thought that was incredible. This this plant actually has a defense mechanism based on something that it hears to prevent itself from being eaten. Yeah. That could only lead me to believe what? that it doesn't want to be eaten because being eaten hurts. Of course that no, but you know, I mean, like it why could else? Be, yeah, it could just be like a a defense mechanism. Yeah, for self preservation. You know? Like like a defense mechanism defense mechanism could also be Pain. jumping back when something stabs you. Because you know, hey, that hurts. That's not good. I'm going to jump back the way a rabbit would if you tried to stab it. Right. So that's kind of the same thing, though. That plant and that rabbit are both reacting to something that hurts them. But again, plants aren't sentient. God damn it. And we need to. Word. I mean, we need to eat something. Well, so I we're wa- just See, I was pick, trying to play gotcha with that cruelty, one thing. Can we? Freak the cruelty free option. That's it. Well, it's, almost like it, it's almost like it boils back. Subjective. That's it. Yeah, cool. it, it's cool. almost cool. like it boils back. Show to anybody this. the footage. You don't even have to show footage. I could tell you right now what happens at a dairy farm. I could tell you what happens at an egg farm. Well, and you're not going to feel okay with it. Oh, She's, I, When I, I say I cruelty is objective, I, I'm, I'm thinking of, uh, again, uh, right, subjective, sorry, not objective. You know, some people would say war is cruel. Of course. Other people would be like, no, it's actually a necessity. Mm-hmm. You know but what I mean? It, but they're not mutually exclu- exclusive. It can be cruel and a necessity. Well, that's a whole other population. I'm not saying that food, you know, veganism is or it isn't. I'm still trying to understand. Can and you, I guess. Can you explain <laughs> veganism to Jim? No, no, no. <laughs> don't explain veganism as a whole. He wants, I don't, I don't he wants you to repeat no, no. why we I, shouldn't I do, kill animals. No. I do not. Yes, I do not. I do, I do not want to hear the, Even like, the, the 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 faddish, the chic, the the you know. It's not faddish, dude. It comes the it statement. Comes down I to, want to hear why is it not okay to kill animals? But she's answered that a thousand times. It comes down so to what is it? Uh, it's a it's an ideology. You know, that's really we all it is. It's to, an ideology. We don't need to kill them. Is it to morally survive? wrong to kill There's, animals? You can't determine says, whether yes. something or not. No, well, you I'm can't. Saying, says who? Wait, what authority? What? Uh, if you think it wasn't morally wrong, and I'm not trying to, I, I, I'm not trying to play. I got you. That's I'm just, fine. I'm trying these to understand. These industries would hide what really goes on. If there was no yeah. moral mm. issue with it or debate, why not be transparent with how you know the standard operations of any factory farm? But don't those things happen just by numbers alone, to some degree? Meaning, like, if you're talking about millions or billions of chicks. You know, some are probably going to get crushed and whatever. Now, I know I saw the documentary. Humans actually go out of their way. I saw a dude kick a pig, you know, and like, oh, that's, that's obviously. That was nothing. That was nothing. I know that's, that's on the lighter side. But what yeah. I'm saying is that humans go out of their way sometimes to to mistreat animals because they're fucking stupid. And, you know, they just, not the animals. I'm talking about humans. Right. Humans are, you know, we can but be can cruel. can you blame them, though? Can blame we blame humans? humans? Can we so, bl- can we blame like these slaughterhouse workers or farmers? Like to an yeah. extent, we can. But imagine this was your job, where obviously at this point these animals are just products to them. They're right, waste right. products. They're a nuisance. Isn't that everything? Every, isn't that every day? resource on the planet to us as being the top? Isn't everything a resource? What do you mean? Meaning we take oil out of the ground. I'm sure that okay. has a natural purpose, right? But we use it as, hey, I mean, we're just going to fucking take it all out of the ground and... What's that word again? Sen- sentient? Well, I think the, I think the philosophy, if you're talking about that whole, you know, philosophy would be leave the oil on the ground. Like, well, we I have, mean, we because... Have na- we, have fossil, we have other fuels that we can... Clean use. energy, right, solar. Absolutely. Absolutely. Why wouldn't we focus all our money on that? 
Well, I, I, you're right. That, that's where I'm. Uh, so just, I guess it's I'm. Just, it's just differing opinions. I it's, mean, a, it's an ideology. Yeah. You can't really prove one to be right or wrong. No, but you, you obviously know, I'm trying to understand the morality. We well, have morality what makes is it wrong. Truth. Morality what is makes subjective. Killing an animal wrong. Morality is subjective. She what just gave you a hundred reasons Rachel? why it's wrong. What that's what I'm asking you. I don't. It probably comes down to taking a life. I mean, is it? Do you think it's morally? So I shouldn't cut my grass. That's not you're not taking a life. It's not a sad. Absolutely, um, that is saying? life. I'm eye rolling that's, so that's hard right now. Because we can't. I mean, come on. It's a little. Wait, wait, hold on. It's a broken are we record with this. Sen- are we? Are we? Are we falling apart at? Plant. You have to get off the plant thing. And just no, 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 no. We're talking about life in general. Yes, if we saw sentient life. But hold on. We have to eat something. Yeah. If we saw a blade of grass on Mars, we'd be like, "There's life on Mars." Correct. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about life. That's what no, we're talking, we're about. talking no, about, talking about sentient we're talking about sentient life. What she's talking about. Yeah, because Can you, you want to know why it's not okay to kill an animal. I don't, I don't, I don't animal. know what that. So basically, she's saying. Just read the you, definition. You cutting a blade of grass is different. I want the definition. Cutting. I don't want George's definition, definition of what <laughs> sentient. 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 We already went through that. Bro, he just. I don't understand. He wants a definition. Give him I, the definition. I want the Webster's dictionary I just definition. Did that two seconds ago. It just basically means that it's a little Go ahead, read it. Hit back. Go ahead, read it. I don't want George's interpretation. I want what I want. Want to know what sentient means from Webster's from the little black kid that hid behind the clock? <laughs> He's like sentient means <laughs> from Webster <laughs> that you shouldn't kill animals. <laughs> and I'm not again. This is not an I gotcha. I'm not trying to do that. So if you feel that way, I'm, I'm I apologize. No, I don't feel that way. I'm I trying to understand. It says basically, if you can feel things, I don't want to basically read no, me the it says. It says read me the definition to feel things. I don't know how is that what it says? Yes. How can he can break you, it? Can how a blade can... of grass feel things? No. Okay. Then you, then you can't argue that point. Did you Google, are any plants sentient? Well, no, they're not. You Googled it? Yes. Oh, all right. I don't know. But I, don't I think this guy's full of shit, bro. I think our tech guy is full of shit. George is like, no, 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 I'm vegan. I'm not. I, uh, and again, I'm only asking because if, if we can Google that and the answer is no, then it just like it separates this whole like cutting the grass story that we keep bringing but out there because what does feelings have to do with it because i would be the lesser of two evils no I, of course it, it would because i'm looking at it pragmatically you know what i mean like i'm not right i'm not trying to, to play devil's advocate agree, right? Bro, i'm not trying to word play. every single fucking because a lot of times because <laughs> a lot of times when we say i'm going to play devil's advocate we're only bringing up you know these this crazy rhetoric to try to disprove something else when i'm trying to look at it like with what? real eyes here. You know, All right, like, here's if, real eyes. Why do we care about animals' feelings? But hold on, but it, it, if you can't, if you can honestly tell me, like, there's a difference between sticking a knife through a kitten's throat and cutting it down until the guts fall out. That's the same as cutting a blade of grass, dude. Then we can't even, we shouldn't even have this conversation. Tell Those me the two very different things, man. I, I, and I'm not going to explain the differences because it seems why that it, because <laughs> ninety <laughs> because ninety nine percent of the population so is going to yeah, know yeah, the yeah, obvious yeah. difference. You don't think one bleeds? That's a difference. Do you need more? Have moral value. I, I don't even. I think the like, answer is no. Yeah, but I want to try to see because I know. I mean, deep down, I know you're a good person, and I don't. I honestly wow. don't think that. You know, if you're against, are you against tr- animal abuse? No, I'm, I'm trying to understand. Are you That's against animal abuse? Are you against um, animal cruelty? Animal abuse. I think that's very, very subjective. Again, answer the question. Okay, Don't so let him if- off the hook, Jenny. No. <laughs> Don't let him get you. Do no, not no, let no, him no, off I'm the not, hook. Hold on. Make wait, him answer your answer, question. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ans- answer a question. But what might, what one person might view as animal abuse might. Well, not I'm be- just asking you. Yes, I mean, thank I know- you. But it's not that general. I'm, I'm giving you an answer. We're having a one-on-one. Right now. Yes. Don't absolutely. let him do it. Absolutely. He's trying so to protect I wanna himself. Know, I want to know from your mouth. Put it this way. Your point of view. Do you think animals? Okay, and yep. I'm not saying like because we have this whole thing with speciesism, like where you don't, you know, you you don't you view different species, which we do, because right. we treat our dogs as if they were kids. We love dolphins, we love certain animals, but then that's other not animals, everybody. It's the majority because that's I mean. But well, whether it's the majority or minority, that doesn't define anything. Okay, so tell me your whole stance on animals. Your take on animal abuse, yeah. if you're for and against it, if you think animals have moral value. Personally, I believe everything on this earth is 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 a resource for humans, uh, whether it be but mud, if- whether it be animals, whether it be other humans, whether it be whatever. I, I think the big fish eats the little fish. That's just, I mean, and that's scientifically, you know, that's been our history. Um, it's unfortunate. I'm empathetic to the fact. I understand that. You know, because someone's weaker, they might get dominated by somebody who's stronger. 
It sucks. But don't you think the person who's stronger has kind of like do they a have responsibility? a responsibility? No. Why not? No, no, not at all. So you think don't let them off the hook? So Are you okay with animal abuse or not? No, we could get well, back to that. But that's you totally think, that's too so general. You, think you see him pulling you where he wants you. Is, no, no, so I'm you think anything. having dominance over someone gives us the right to like to do harm? Well, when you say that right, rape, you're talking about rape culture. Are you talking about legal right? Or are you talking about well, legality, natural natural le- legality, natural legality is out the moral, window for this yeah, conversation. This is not a legal conversation. Legality, we two totally different things. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, because a lot of shit was legal in, in you know, back in the day. Yeah, this has nothing to do now. with law. It doesn't even... Right. Okay, so we'll, we'll put it this way. Humans have in, enslaved and killed and other humans. Right. I mean... And we evolved around that, right? You know, it took 400 not, no. years. Right now, today, there are 40 million slaves on this globe but, happening today. But were there more we the have past? laws protecting us, no? That's in America. Okay, but that, where are we? I mean, I can't, oh, we can't we can't speak for everybody everywhere. I mean, but situations hold on. are we different. We can't speak everywhere. for everybody everywhere, but yet the culture of veganism is speaking for every animal everywhere. We're just speaking for life, for sentient life in general. But I feel like you're trying to justify what we do to them because other countries, though. I, I don't need to justify. I, I'm, I'm, you know. We do things so to tell survive. Me, okay, so we have. So, what's your take on animal abuse? Are you for it? Well, that's very general. That's. I mean, again, Jay, that's, that's, are oh, you're you backtracking so, if you so saw, hard right now? If you no, saw somebody, my partner, and I love you, but she's asking you a direct a question. That's not a direct answer. <laughs> if so, you know, give me give me an example. If you saw what, somebody kicking a pig, well, hold on. Your view of abuse is totally different than mine. What's your view? M- meaning. And, and I'm, I'm going to explain that. So, like, I could use dogs as solely just to protect my family. They don't ever come in the house. They are not protected from the weather because they have natural uh, defense mechanisms against those things. Well, they, they're don't, they don't need sweat. Hold on. They, they don't need so sweaters. They, have they don't need sweaters. They don't need our dog food. food. They could actually hunt if they actually wanted to. Um, so, I mean, like, again, it, it's very subjective. When you say just abuse in general, and that goes back to our conversation even of humans. Hold on a second. It, you know, my father was very, very, very strict. George. He beat the fucking shit out of us. I mean, it's subjective whether that was child abuse or not child abuse, but it depends on the times. It was. Uh, well, no, according, no, that's what I'm saying, according to the times. So I'm not trying to avoid your question so at, at all. I, all I'm saying is that it's it's very 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 so very you're broad. So for animal abuse when it's when it has to do with you know what, do you, what ha- we use it for. Define abuse. Can I try to define? Hold abuse on, no, for no, 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 no. Define abuse. You're asking me the question. Define. Well, let me define it. And no, you no, agree no, no, with no, it no, no, no. I want her. Yeah. She's asking the question. Define abuse, and then I'll answer your question. It's based inf- on your definition. Inflicting unnecessary pain. I don't on ever a sentient agree. Sentient life. I don't ever agree with that in any kind of life. Not human. Not plant. Not animal. But well. what he's going to say is but. There is no but. I don't agree. No, I don't agree with when that. When you say necessary pain, what do you mean by that? No, I, right. I don't, I'm, I'm just saying based on her definition, so you're, I do not. So you're I, against I'm animal with abuse. You. Yeah, absolutely. That, you could have said that so long ago. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's all so, the question. No, was. somebody had, realize, somebody had to define that. Do you realize you're paying for it at least three times a day? You contribute like, to it. You pay, yeah, I mean, we're consumers keep these companies in business. They don't, they know, don't care about money. What, what they, separates us? F- care, what separates us f- caring about, let's say, an animal life versus a, a tree, a, a redwood tree, or 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 whatever life? Because it, how can you agree to abortion and not not you? I'm saying anybody. Right. How do you agree to abortion and not? But you're sticking up for animals. Separate conversation. Animals, it's not separate. It's life. Well, because we don't have anybody here that we're talking to that is pro-abortion and I know, but we're, we're taking the conversation beyond. We're talking about, you know, a logic ideology. Yeah, but we're not. If you're, you're talking about life, a, a specific group of people now that support one on each side. No, if somebody comes to me and says they're defending life, I'm going to I'm going to say just again, just to understand. Is that all life? Are you being selective? Mm. Are you being selective? No, no. Okay. I think if we don't need to. <laughs> I totally disagree with that. But, I mean, that's just me. I, and I'm not trying to – I got yeah. you. I'm just saying. How can you disagree with that? I don't think at one point she has put one life as more valuable than another life. Absolutely. She said animals' lives are more valuable than plants. plants you. Okay, I got it. Well, yeah, because, again, like they're sentient and they feel and they're self-aware. But that doesn't anyone... make them more important. We need plants 
to yeah, breathe. Yeah, we need and to eat. And to eat, yes. Of course. So I don't know, man. I did see an article that they just 3D printed a vegan steak. I saw that. They have lab-grown meat. They're working in that direction because, again, how do you feel about that whole stem cell research? And I feel, I feel like honestly, I think it's, I think it's too out there. I'm not <coughs> against it because anything. I mean, they're working towards different ways to cause least harm. Nobody had to die for lab-grown meat. Excuse me. You know, nobody had to directly die. Um, but again, I mean, that I'd be all for that as far as. You know, choosing that over an actual animal who had to give their life right. to eat. Hmm. And, you know, so many people are investing in plant-based foods because the demand is growing. And just like you guys tried, I mean, we're, we're almost there. That was very there. good still. We're almost there. <laughs> yeah, like, just so we're clear, like I'm taking point. all that home. Yeah, well, it's going to come to a are. point <laughs> where all of that. vegan food is going to be more of a convenience because there's going to be more options. You, you'll be able to get it anywhere. Mm. And then you just have to, at the end of the day, ask yourself if you could choose an option that causes the least amount of harm and is better for your health but, and the environment. But then isn't why harm subjective? Meaning, no. like, listen, hold on. If Coming to from eat, who? The oppressor or the victim? Mm. Well, because no, no, no. no. I, I, I'm, I'm going to pose a question. To, to eat the plants without eating meat, we got to kill a lot of rodents. That's fact. Listen, Why? Because we're going to be eating we more kill, plants? We kill more right. rodents now because of the land usage, because of animal agriculture. Right, so we'd still be killing what less rodents. What I'm saying is that we have to kill to eat. I mean, no, like, no, but what well, she's saying is that if, if that's... we go strictly plant-based diet, mm -hmm. we're going to have to kill a no. lot of living things. You're missing no, we're not. insects, I think you're missing. rodents. No, we're not. And where she's Absolutely. telling you that... We're going to use less land, so right? how is that... If you lose less land, if you use less land... For these plant-based crops, because again, we use a hell of a lot more resources and a lot more land, meaning we kill a hell of a lot more animals indirectly because of animal agriculture. But think Not of what you're saying. Of vegans. If Bro, we all what cut, you're saying makes sense. No, 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 it doesn't. It does. Think about what you're saying. If we eat less meat. We're going to have to expand the land. No, we're not. Yes. To Jay. Eat, to no, we're not. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Guys, stop I you both go on, on and stop interrupting stop being, for a second. Don't be combative. Hold don't on. Be combative. Hold on. Stop interrupting for a second. To, to facilitate and to feed everybody that's eating vegetables and not meat, we're going to have to expand <laughs> our operations. No, no, we're not. No, we are not. What? All right. <laughs> let, let, let me simple, interject. This, let me, hold on. Simple math. No, no, no. You just said what you needed to Quick say. Math, if please. everybody Quick ate math. more <laughs> plants... We'd have to grow more plants. Cows right. eat more than humans. Pigs eat more than humans. And we're wrapping There's a now. hell of a lot of chickens. <laughs> more than Cardi humans. Be a we feed house. we feed a hell of a lot more plants to these animals that we fatten up to eventually kill. We feed them this much, they give us this much. How in the world, if we all went plant based, I'd like to see that measure. we would use less <laughs> land. This and this. You all can right, Google so it. Simple simple math is to feed a hundred, you know, a hundred humans. Yep. It takes a four by four of cattle, where to feed the it. same hundred humans, it would only take one by one of vegetables. Well, you're that's just assuming a, that. I'm it's assuming that. I'm assuming it, but it's all science. based on like information that I got. Yeah, he can look are, that up and verify. But it would definitely take less land, which in turn would of kill course. less and rodents to eat plants. We could feed the whole planet, guys. We could I'm not. Feed, trust me, I'm not saying I'm giving up steak, but I'm feed saying everybody. There that part of her argument makes sense. Anybody in poverty, if everybody ha ate the grains, pastas, legumes, beans, vegetables, fruits, if everybody ate those and didn't feed half of our shit to animals to eventually just get died, like you know, they get, they're gonna get eaten and they're gonna get shat out. You know, they're not gonna get. Interesting. So that's I got it. it. I got a good stat for you. It says to would we not? Hold on, I want to hear the stat. It says to produce a half a pound of potatoes, it takes as much CO two energy as driving a car for 0 0.1 miles. So for a tenth of a mile, if you're going to do a pound of beef, it's 9.8 miles. That's the difference. That's so explain 9, the relevance. Nine thousand times. So to to, what, what basically what they're saying is I'm a little to, high and drunk, so no, no. <laughs> to produce 
potatoes or to produce the fruits or vegetables or whatever you need would yeah. be dramatically lower. If you if you cut like all one ninetieth, yeah, it would be it would be about a tenth, basically. No, a ninetieth. One ninetieth what? About what, what, hundred. Wait, hold on. What are we talking about? To one ninetieth one. In like CO two emissions and energy this take and land and things. And and all well, hold on. CO two is great for for plant for plants. So I don't understand what the point is. No, I'm talking about like emissions, like bad, like. Well, CO two is not bad like for methane, plants. Like the gas. Yeah, like basically the the. But is pollution? that what that says, or is that what you are you you assuming methane and because well, if, if you're talking about CO two, plants need CO two to and it. You know what I'm saying? Actually, plant life would the flourish. Circle of life. Yeah, I, I know. I know you're like you're making light of it, but I'm 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 speaking scientific fact here. Think about that for a second. <laughs> CO two would actually make plants flourish. Can we agree on that? I don't know that. What carbon? Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not a botanist. No, we, you know? we out. Well, it says basically greenhouse <laughs> greenhouse greenhouse gases altogether, but the, I mean it's dramatically different. So is Jay right though? I mean, would it be more beneficial for plants if we um, what's the word? You know, produced more CO two, like more of those byproducts, or would it not be as no, beneficial? The way that this is describing is that it's like in better, environmentally harmful. Gases and getting like environmentally harmful. Yeah, basically, yes. like if you're a factory and you're producing something, it's going out into the the atmosphere. I think so much of the the vegan movement, and again, this is my you know opinion. I don't really study the science too much. Maybe I should have before I even say this, but <laughs> from what it seems to me, is it's so much more based on emotions. You know, like feeling bad for animals and feeling sad for them, which I'm not saying is the wrong thing or a bad thing. But I am saying that if that's if that's gonna be the like the foundation of it, I can get behind that. But I think there's always there always has to be room for some meat consumption, you know, because whether or not we evolve to where we don't need them to eat them, do you think that um, a meat eater, you know, like somebody that has a very very healthy balance of eating vegetables and meat, is like the optimal human, you know, health wise, or would you say that a vegan that eats no meat is optimal well one, I mean, they can't be because equal you're vegan doesn't mean you're you could be healthy i mean definitely healthier just because i'm so glad you said that yeah oh no cause because if you just eat the, sugar and carbs all day right, but no meat you're so still gonna many, be like, like a fat you shit you like have me. so much vegan junk food <laughs> whole fa- whole plant whole foods whole food plant-based diet is optimal for human health and that again is science we have and it's not like subjective science from like these vegan scientists saying this there's the China well it is subjective though there. it's not it can if is if one scientist out. hold on if one scientist has a different theory then it's subjective at that point no but peer reviews are like hundreds or even thousands you, you take the majority of agreeance yeah of scientists concluding that this is what we found and this is pretty much evident so why shouldn't we kill animals? Because we don't need to. <laughs> well, I know we don't need to do a we lot of things. Yeah, why, we, yeah. why do we? We do don't it? need to, Why do we do it? We don't need to have sex so for pleasure. Long, you know, because we've we done don't. it. But we can't justify it uh, for pleasure because there's a lot of bad shit people could do for pleasure. But again, I, I, again, I, maybe I just I'm missing that part of it. Why, why, is it why is it wrong? Why is it wrong? Why is it wrong to kill animals? I feel like I'm a Good luck, Jenny. I'm a broken You are. You, you, I, you, I know. Hopefully yeah. some listeners will at least Hold on. All right. not Maybe I'm like, not. Yeah, right. dude. I, okay, I can I'm explain. Trying to get it. I, can, I can explain Maybe I'm, very Am simply. I missing something? Okay. Hold why on, is it wrong to kill a dog? Because people could go to jail I don't for know. That. People, there's laws But legality pets. doesn't equal morality. Right, right. Of course. Right. Of course. So we can't talk about jail. You know, in his defense, we can't talk about jail. As a civilized society, we should we should be obligated to do what's right. But Not wh- because we can. Well, I, so, I guess what I'm asking is, what is the definition of right? That's when it comes exactly to where it, causing this- the least amount of harm as practically possible. Causing the least amount of harm. I mean, I can't get any more simpler than that. Break it down, if Barney we style. Needed to, if we needed to eat these animals to live or to even be healthy, yes, it, hell yeah, it's justifiable. But don't we do many things that we don't need to do? Let's say we have sex for pleasure. Yeah, but, okay, two, but it's, it's like not, that old saying: two wrongs don't make a right, bro. You, you know what you sound like now? Applicable. You sound it does, it's a hundred percent applicable. You no, no, sound, no, 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 no. Hold on, you sound right now like like a Trump supporter 
that hold on i'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna explain why like if trump does something <laughs> fucked up you know and a trump supporter is just like well obama relative. obama did something before that was just no, as bad no, it's no, like no, who, no. who gives is, a fuck just because we do other things for pleasure doesn't mean that it, this is okay because it's directing but and, why is it wrong then because there's not, a victim listen, there's a victim point. involved i'm not saying so, it's wrong but do, don't use the argument but, hold on there's one thing i just want you to stop using the argument that two wrongs make a right because that's not a way to justify something you're defining two wrongs I'm not defining anything. Absolutely, you're I'm saying not. too wrong. What makes it wrong? I'm asking you, what makes it wrong? I'm There's saying that you can't. You can't. Their, well, that's, you can't that's answer that's whether or not it's that's wrong. That's her whole argument about being moral. Like, so, so hold on for one second. If you're yeah, say that there's a dog shelter that's being run, right? And there's overwhelming amount of dogs to the amount of places that they could hold the dogs. Is it okay to kill the dogs? Yes. I don't know. You're, you're using a, a, an isolated incident in a vacuum. Well, no, yeah, I mean, but you to prove a point. That. But you've no, been but doing that's how, that you can, whole time. that's how you can get your response, dude. Like, no, you, that's not. Well, I'm no, talking no, about. How do you general. feel about that situation? How do you feel about, so you want don't a generalize it. Situation. No. If there's, if listen. There's, this is very easy. What's the answer? I'm asking you. No, no. Why don't You're you answer? Already, he's already vegan at default because he already said he doesn't believe in animal cruelty. You good, Jen? You Based just don't of align. Own... You don't align your actions with your views. Oh because shit! I know. You're phony. And that's most. That's most people. <laughs> that's most people. Yeah, I most didn't, people are phony. No. I didn't do it for the longest time. I mean, most people collectively will agree that animal this cruelty, is very... animal abuse, is wrong. Show them footage. And they'll they could absolutely see that it's wrong. It's unpleasant to look at. We wouldn't show our kids. But that. that's not every case, and that's not even the majority of the the animals that die don't get the shit kicked out of them. Whoa, oh my goodness, yes whoa, they do. No, oh, they do. Now you sound ignorant. Ninety nine percent. Ninety nine percent. Are you telling me that every pig that we eat gets kicked in the yes, stomach? Yes, it's factory farm. No, yo. Ninety nine percent. No, no. should have watched the documentary, bro. Come farms. on. You are telling me that the factory meat that ends up at Stop and Shop, there's not cruelty to that animal that goes through? Every I'm single wait, 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 one hundred percent. Think about what you're saying right now. So yes. like millions of, let's say yes. millions of millions. Oh, no, no, no. Don't, like, don't say yes. <laughs> yes. Think about what I'm saying. Millions of chickens go through oh, a uh, chicken farm, right? Hold they're they're manufactured, whatever, blah, blah. Yes. You're saying the majority of those get fucking punched and kicked and whatever yes. the cruelty. The I'm saying 99%. I'm saying Stop 99%. It. I'm saying Stop 99%. It. What are you, where are you getting the information that they're now? It's a gen that's a like general knowledge. You're, I you're think saying he just that wants what you saw. You're, 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 you're saying that you're saying that in that video that's the majority of animals. The yes. consensus is that's no. the majority. Yes. Why are you saying it's not? There was so yeah. many yeah. different places filmed, and you know what? If you want another look, you could look at Earthlings. But hold on. Which By is default, other... all those animals that are video. treated. Hold on. Hold on. Let me. By default. All those animals are treated humanely just based on their living quarters and their sleep, like where they sleep, where they eat. Never mind the kicking. Inhumane, dude. Forget the physical violence, which most of them experience that too, but just the conditions that they have to stay in with their, yeah, can with I, their, yo, you're you with their lying. Tears, Guys, can dying I tell you and this Wait, 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 wait. Why is sick. it okay that we treat humans that way? We put it's humans. Hold on. Wait, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. Hold on. Let me prove a point. You're we put humans. Can you let me talk? But it's We're not okay. You're assuming, you won't let me talk. No, I won't. Can, you're, can I say something? You're assuming we I, say I, that's I wanna, okay. I want to read. Exactly. Right. Let, she's saying, <laughs> let me talk. We put humans in cages. We put them in jail cells. We can't put a fucking cow in a, in a fucking cell. We can't put a cow Why in a cage. Why do we put humans in cages? I'm pretty sure it's to protect the society, right? No, no. There, because a lot you're, of... So uh, you're not talking about they broke laws. No, hold on. because they broke laws. Listen. Just because you break a law, just because you smoke a joint, that means you should be in a cage? No. Exactly. No. So most there's nonviolent and violent criminals. A lot of criminals are nonviolent. My point is again is that what you're saying, I'm asking, why is it wrong to kill an animal? Tell me the morality right, behind it. Let me okay. Let me start with <laughs> with pigs. And I just want your stance on this. Yes. Because this is standard practice. You could read this on any pig farm in sight. Yeah. So when pigs are born, they days old, right? They get castrated without anesthetics they get their teeth clipped so out without so do humans. what do you mean so what so what i'm you saying so what so you don't think that's bad no i don't why because it's not happening what do you mean to you? why because no. you're not the victim because i don't because if somebody pulled your balls right <laughs> off of you i'm pretty sure you would have a different humans and that. animals are totally different we already established that we're different, but we're the same in the way that we whoa, still whoa, whoa, whoa. feel pain. We still have okay, testicles. Okay, we feel pain. Right. We do. And, I agree with you there. Okay, so 
are you saying because they don't feel so you don't think they feel as much pain as humans is that your whole should i feel bad for the mouse that we feed to the caiman I mean, we're not like, talking about that. We're talking about the pigs. We're talking about standard pigs. We're talking about your baking pork, ham. We're I'm, talking about those. I'm, I'm so giving that's you standard practice. I don't give a fuck about a pig. How about that? All right. So you don't <laughs> have to give a fuck about a pig to know that that's I'm just not like, right. And you might not, say that. I'm asking you, might you say why that. is it not right? That's all I'm saying. Because I'm not trying you to play. Just, I got you. I'm just, so mm. you could just see how much pain is being caused to this animal, what? and just know that that's not right. Would you? Would you want to see? A wait, wait. Pig what, get what, what about a lion that eats a giraffe? Isn't it going through pain? A lion isn't a human, though. Exactly. Okay? And lions don't wait, have. So now you're latency. proving my point. No, but her, okay. Her, hold yeah, on. we got to hey, <laughs> hold on. We got to stop. You know, like yelling over each other. And we got to let. If she's talking, you got to let him her finish. Well, no, no, we're having. Hold on. If he's talking, you got to let him finish. No, it's not really for. You know, when people are listening, though, it just sounds right. like yelling and yelling over each other. Okay. You got to kind of like finish your thought and let vice versa. Lions kill out of necessity. And they don't have moral agency. They also rape their young and they lick their own assholes and sleep naked. Mm. You know, shit we don't do, but we want to justify, <laughs> oh, yes, we we do. Want to justify <laughs> killing animals because of lions, though. But when you say justify, I- I'm asking you, what makes it wrong? <laughs> because we don't on, need to him... do it. We don't need to do it to survive. There's tons of things that we don't need to do as humans. That's what I'm saying. All right. And why as humans, as civilized human beings with moral agency, knowing right from wrong, having a self-conscious, we should be obligated to pick the like the less cruel option. If we have choices, if we're not up against the lion or we're not living in the Stone Ages and we could simply choose meat that wasn't made from you know, a dead animal or meat that's made from plants, why the fuck aren't we doing that? Just why should we people? care? Why did people care about ending slavery? Why did people care about ending, you know, women not having equal rights, about gays not You're having You're talking about equal humans. We're, I'm talking it about animals. It doesn't matter. It's an, it's well, an injustice. I, it's an injustice to who? because there's a victim to the mm-hmm. animals. Wait, hold on. To the, the animals the that feel just like you. And just, animals just because is you the label. Same thing. Listen, you know, when I cut my grass, the grass is the victim. Just because you oh label something as. No, 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 no. It's not, oh my God. Just because you label something as a victim, that doesn't mean that it's, you know, it's not. It, it, you know, well, I, think the whole, I think the whole argument basically. So I'm trying to understand why. Why is it wrong to kill an like, animal? This is the whole. This is the whole point, right? Is Don't that tap there's the a table. line. There's a line, right? So on one line, on one side of the line, I can kill a cow if I want to eat. Yeah. I can go eat meat, but there's a line where I'm not going to go kill a dog to eat it. Yeah, it's why? Human. That's, that that line to me, that line so is a human. That's, that's, that's a the human, only place I draw that line. <laughs> not in China. But hold on, that's like a society slash cultural norm here. It's and wait, like, hold on. In America, but what in America, let him talk. Let him talk. Is that here's the line? Here's the line with cows and dogs and whatever it is. That's where my line is. What her line is is further this way. And what her the ideology is and what veganism is in general is trying to move society and culture to that line so you're still here she's here and she has these points you have these points and yeah it's just that you know it's been 30 40 years whatever that we've been on this earth doing the same exact thing and i'm a meat eater like crazy i mean i eat meat every day but at the same so point, siege but at the same point i'd rather have grass-fed beef i'd rather have the things that i think shouldn't be done to the to an animal for me to be able to eat. But that still doesn't answer the fact why it's morally wrong to kill an animal. I think it's just morally wrong in general to kill. Grass, trees, Grass is not a plants, thing. sentient what? Yes, it is. sentient no, beings. But, but why is that up why is that on a higher level than because let's say feel. Because they feel so and what? they're self-aware. They That's know different. they have they have like an interest in living. They have, they feel, they what? have a heart. I, I don't understand. So if, I cut, if, I cut, if, I cut a, if I cut a blade that, of grass, that right, doesn't, there's, the grass isn't feeling what I'm doing to it. Who gives if a I fuck? If I slice the de- deer's neck, the deer's going to feel that. Uh, what That's I'm saying, all right, hold on. If I shoot a deer in the fucking head, he's not feeling that, number one. Number two, whoa. Why does an animal's feelings come into play into this? Well, I don't understand. That, it's that's not so much his feeling. It's just respecting life. Like, we don't need to take but, their life to survive. But hold on. So we're we're chopping down a right? whole bunch of the Amazon to make fucking paper. You know, no, it's like, no. We're chopping down a whole lot of the Amazon for animals, for animal agriculture, not for paper. And you could get your stats on that. But it's just, 
I guess what I'm saying is I think he was trying to make a point and he used the wrong jungle. Yeah, Yeah, maybe I did. Okay, maybe I did. And the whole Uh, thing with plants too, like you can't. I'm saying we we use we use. She's like, bitch. I got Amazon data. We we, we use tons of plants for wood and blah 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 blah. Why does that life not matter versus let's say an animal's life? I think the point is that it matters. It's just a different. Just feelings. Yeah, no level. Gives a fuck about feelings. (laughs) No, no, no. It matters, but like you know, you should always you should respect life. I'm not saying why we should. (laughs) <laughs> I'm trying Thank you to so much for making that face. Thank you so much for making that face. Because I hold on, my my Human thoughts on life, this. yes. My thoughts on this. Well, that's not. So you. Well, when you that. say that, dude, you just kind of feel like. Fun when you animals. say just human life, what do you mean? Either the big fish eats the little fish, or it doesn't. Exactly. So if you're stronger than most humans, like is their life devalued? Should you be able to kill a baby if you feel like we had that conversation it? in the last episode? Should you? Like, should you be able to kill a baby? We do do that. Do you understand should that? You. I'm talking about you. I don't want to know what we is. Forget, this is a con- listen, this is not no. a personal conversation. It 100% we're is. About- no, it's not. This, is this your personal ideology? No, no, no. I, we're, we're, I, no, is, this is not personal. personal. It's, this is not about how I feel about it. We're talking no, about... No, but when we're asking you what's your stance on it, because you obviously throw out all these arguments and all these, like, hypotheticals. But right, which we can day, all do. I'm you challenging... You already said you, you're not for animal abuse. Right. I'm so ch- if you're not... I'm challenging the logic based on a culture. A vegan okay, culture. But culture doesn't equal morality. I'm not talking about what. I'm sorry. What? what your, your. What's your first name? Jen. Jen. Jesus I knew that. Christ. I didn't want to say. That. <laughs> Jesus I'm not, Christ. I, I, dude. I'm. I'm not trying to challenge Jen's personal view on life right. and view on vegan. Okay. I'm challenging the culture. I'm challenging a broader sense here. That's what I'm getting at. This is not about what Confucius Jay O'Leary says. thinks. But fuck what. Fuck what Jay O'Leary thinks. But we're interested in what you think. All right, but. I, I, there's a there's a broader topic here. Like I don't want. Well, I think cares? the consensus of humans, of good people, yeah. will agree with you that animal cruelty and animal abuse is wrong. And I agree when with you. You say there. who gives a fuck about animals, uh, about their feelings? Yeah. I'm pretty sure the consensus too will think, well, hey, I had a fucking. Dog. But that doesn't make it right. The consensus doesn't make it right or wrong. So the majority, the majority of people. Do not make something right nor wrong. That's what I'm saying. Well, Can we agree on that? I don't know. I'm, I'm a little oh afraid to gosh. agree with anything that you've said. Listen, right Jeez. now. Jeez. I don't want to agree with anything. Yeah. I just, right now, the well, majority of people don't think that it is wrong to kill animals. But that is, that's increasing. Like, well, no, that's decreasing. I would, I would challenge that because a lot of people eat meat. Yeah, of course. That's what I meant. That's what I said. That's That's what I said. Like most people right now, like we live in a non vegan world for sure. But there's people, you know, waking up every single day. I mean, the vegan movement is growing so fast. It's the fastest growing social movement ever. So yeah. it's only a matter of time. Mm. Listen, injustice can't is, last forever. If there's a Fortnite victim a involved, movement? we're not going away. Is it injustice? I mean, it is injustice. Define it that. It is injustice. Explain that to me. There's victims involved for things that we're doing out of greed and for money but and for taste. Isn't for landscaping, habits. like, again, I go back to, isn't landscaping out of greed and profit, uh, you're killing life, isn't that the same thing? Isn't it's abortion? Not the same thing. Isn't it's abortion not the same thing. A, a, a doctor that commits that? You that really abortion, want to get into yeah. yeah. Abortion really is not. That, I don't want to get into well, that. Well, I'm just. I'm that, talking about the principle, not necessarily. We don't have to get the into principle an abortion. Is all it is. Dude. No, 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 no. <laughs> when you're killing life for the sake of profit, right? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. It doesn't matter what kind of life we're t- t- a plant, animal, but again, human. We humans. So you're talking about landscaping. I mean, obviously, like we're here. You know, whether yeah. we like it or not, we have to live somewhere. We have to build somewhere. Does There's going to be indirect everything? harm done because of this. Right. We're going to kill life because of this. Yes. We're, there's going to be animals We're saying, so yeah. the vegan stance is just try to reduce that as much as possible. Why? Why wouldn't we, though? Why wouldn't we as a society try to move towards a more compassionate world? Let me ask world? you, why would we? Seriously? No, why I'm I'm, I'm being I'm being I legit. Mean, <laughs> I'm asking you, why would we? Why does it matter? Because emotionally, because we feel bad for animals. That's no, no, no. Not everybody to. does, and not everybody. Gets well, no, no, no. I'm talking about like the the vegan move is it's an emotional connection to an animal. You it's feel. An I understand. It's, it's an empathetic. Yeah, that's. It, yeah. But that's what I understand. We're talking about. W- you're, asking, you're basically asking her to defend why she believes what she believes. Yes. And I'm. That's what it is. You know, like if you're a vegan, you know, you don't look at animals lives it's something that's disposable you know what i mean like if if you're at war right like i you served mm-hmm. you know and I, I thank you for that but if you have to Didn't bomb you? a hold on 
I still thank you for it. I right, thank you, you too. Know, if, if you have to, you know, uh, take a building, you know what yeah. I mean, and you know that there are hostels inside, is your goal to just kill everybody inside or to reduce collateral damage as, as much as you can? Re- reduce collateral damage exactly. because they're human. But that's what I'm saying. I feel we like don't consider, we don't no, consider no, no, animals. Jay, Jay, let we me don't finish. consider plant You life. don't, and that's fine that you don't. No, no, and we called, don't. Stop, as a, stop. Called, as, a, as a global can I, as a global can entity, we don't. No, no but, there's laws against animal abuse, so you're don't, wrong right there. Well, don't exactly. state fallacy. We I'm don't give a flying fallacy. fuck if we bomb but and you blow the fuck out of camels. You can't speak for every human. No, no, no. And, and I'm and saying, can you? I'm, and, I, I'm not trying to. I'm saying very specifically that Jenny, you in front of me, I think if humans animals, I think if I'm, I'm understanding you correctly, is that you don't value, or you value an animal's life enough where you feel like you should reduce collateral damage. Like what's gonna ha- what has to happen is gonna happen. But if you can make some decisions that save some animal lives, why not do it? Like if you're gonna shoot up a building. You're going to shoot that building up if you have to, but if you can save some civilians, why not do it? There's never a point in time where any kind of military force would ever consider animal life blowing up a building. You don't have to. I'm not talking. I'm talking about vegans, not the military. Yeah, you okay, know, but I'm you not can't, saying you have to like. I'm saying that like they look at it as simple. I just compare did. humans to to animals or humans to plants. No, but That's, I can you know, I can compare the way you know somebody in a vegan community views an animal life. Compared to how a military person views an Afghani civilian life. I'm trying to understand that. I I agree agree with you. Compared to understand it this way. They view view animals having feelings. You're in Kuwait. Yeah, well, they do. You're in Kuwait, right? right. Say you're in Kuwait. I'm trying to understand But I'm not saying that that a human's life and an animal's life right there. No. I, I value human life more. The same way you don't view an American and a Mexican life, a Mexican right. life the same. But that doesn't mean well, that I feel like class because, of because of that, just animals have a, a you know should die for us. No, if they don't need to yeah. die for us, I value their life enough to respect them and just leave them the fuck alone. Let them live. Let right. them do. I don't think they were here. I don't think they were here for us. Yeah. I think obviously we needed to eat them in the past to survive for sure. But do I believe that? God put animals here f- for that intention and and would have made them sentient to feel regardless of you know your take on feeling they they do suffer I don't think like any loving god no matter what religion you are would purposely make them sentient if that was their purpose animals are here for us to eat and consume and profit off of and you know do all this i i don't believe and that. jen i totally want to i want you to understand i appreciate your sentiment i totally do i recognize it and and i you know i i, I do appreciate it the way that you feel towards animals mm-hmm whether I agree with it, disagree with it, that's a whole other story. So I don't want you to think that and I'm just being, yeah, yeah, I don't, I'm not being straight disrespectful. I, I don't want you to, I don't want to come across as being. Just throwing um, shade. No, I, I don't want to come, like, I'm, I, again, I'm not trying to, I got you. I'm, I'm really actually trying to understand the logic, the train of thought behind why it's wrong to kill an animal. You already answered it yourself because you don't, you you don't agree with animal abuse. But that's totally different than just it's killing not, an animal. No, it's, yeah, absolutely it is. Hunting an animal we, is totally different than uh, taking well, an animal. We're not tying, talking about hunting. Hold on. What? No, no, no. <laughs> killing an animal is totally different than tying it up to a tree and, uh, you know, punching it until it dies. You know, or something. I'm just making Why? up something. Makes uh, it it might be the lesser of because two evils, but I mean, it's... Hunting, hold on. What makes it different? Hunting could be immediate. Hunting, you, know, you shoot an animal in the head, it's not going to feel that. So what if you beat up the beating dog, an an, but if you an, eat it afterwards, who cares? Beating an animal to its death, that's totally different. Why? What's the difference? At the end of the Hold day... Hold on, I want to... Okay. What's the difference? If you shoot it in the head or if you beat it? Well, I'm going to assume that... I don't know. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> that they suffered Hold on, less, can, right? That it was the it was the lesser of two evils yes. to take a life. Yeah. Well, but you said earlier, who cares? Why should we care what they feel? I'm asking a question because mm, you know it's wrong. You just said you oh, hold you, on. you differentiating that. Yes, yeah, it's what he, he meant. Didn't, the you, consensus you, you, of you're people trying feels. to play. I got you to me. It I doesn't did matter because what I, Jay O'Leary I just thinks. did. But that's all I care I'm about talking, right now. I know what I cared about but was I, what you I, thought. I'm not speaking we can, for... But we can play devil's advocate no, forever. No, 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 no. Listen, never get listen, answers. listen. You, you, you're, you're trying to... I'm not trying uh, to do anything. Well, you are. You, I did. You're trying to say like... I did. Oh, I got Jay O'Leary. Okay, fuck Jay O'Leary. Who cares what Jay O'Leary thinks? Also I'm agree. talking about... 
a majority of people. I'm trying to speak for people that don't understand veganism. The majority of people don't want to see animals in slaughterhouses and don't want to see footage. That why do you think they? The majority they of people don't? are just blind. They're sweeping under the rug. It's not willful, ignorance is bliss. Willful ignorance, yeah. yeah. And a lot I, of them don't know how bad it really is. And if they did, I don't know, know if that's. I don't know if that's coming from you know your, your an assumption or a no, fact. No, it's coming from my cube. It's coming from people saying, "Oh my God, I didn't." People know that you interact, interact with when you go to these rallies. Industry, they yeah, these but babies. But listen, but even you, you didn't know how many cows. animals were beat in these factory farms. What I'm saying is that depending on who you surround yourself with, obviously you're going to get a different perspective and a different opinion you go to china and you ask them hey is it cruel to kill a dog and eat it or in the philippines the Fili- i'm half filipino filipinos eat dog i mean like they're gonna be like nah it's whatever i don't like, think it yeah, is that's, either it's it's cultural i don't think it's yeah, cruel it's to cultural. kill any animal but if you're gonna eat if it if there wasn't anything wrong with it then this this shit what, wouldn't be hidden from people what this makes it wrong though so people. are you so, but I, I, and again, are, are you saying that legality makes it wrong then? Because if you go to the no. Philippines, hold on, wait. If you go to the Philippines, killing a dog and eating is not wrong at all. Right. You go to America, well, now it's now right. it's wrong because, culturally. And you could see the hypocrisy when people. But America's like, made so up of all different cultures. It. That's weird. All right. Anyway, I think we're beating this. Oh, we <laughs> I definitely. still don't have an answer, but <laughs> well, you, you're asking for an answer uh, that you can't get because I nobody think you, can. Yeah, you got hold on, it. nobody can really. You can't really prove. What's right or what's wrong? You know, it, it's up to it's well, a conscience kind yeah, of thing. It's, it's moral. That's what I'm right. getting at. Yeah, but you right, that you knew the answer to that question forever ago. You know, you can't. What's wrong to you is not wrong to him, or what's right. wrong to him is not. And you can't force but the other one to see it that way. He already said. I agree with you 100. percent But he, abusing again, animals. Yeah. He, he okay. was trying to you know again play devil's advocate, not really give his own opinion, which. Right. Right, doesn't matter Fair what Jay Leary thinks. I mean, well, you got to remember you... this podcast. People want to hear what we think. You know, I'm not a spokesperson for everybody that's listening. I'm going to tell you what I think. People, people... do not give a fuck what Jay Leary thinks. About. I think they do, man. They watch <laughs> and they listen for you. She's here because she wanted to know what you think. I want to know what you think. No, no, no I want to know what she thinks. You know, She's like, not I'm, here because I'm, she wants to know what I. Think. I'm doing this because you know, like I like I'm to just know here for the animals. whoever we They're talk about. I animals, want to know guys. their take on it. I like your stance on it. Everybody else can listen to us if they want to come on and give their opinion. Fine, but how do how do you feel about let's say? Humanely killing an animal. How do you humanely kill an animal that doesn't, doesn't want to die? Feel. No. How do you? Uh, well, hold on. Early. You just you you, you well, support. Hold on. No, it's not actually hey, because you, you, you did support euthanasia. When of a, course, if an animal's suffering, how do you right, put it so, out of its misery? Okay, so I I just I'm, these I'm animals asking, aren't like, suffering. Well, they're well, suffering because how do you humanely kill an animal then? I'm Jenny, at, I have a big problem with something. Here's you know, my so. answer. Here's my answer. You can't. So no no matter if it's suffering or not. No, yeah. if it's suffering, then mm. yeah, I think I, we have. But I disagree see, with you there. You, okay, don't you and see that's the fine. irony that's, there? It's, it's not, not because fine. it's it's in the animal's best interest my to put it out problem, of its misery. My only problem with that is not to feel slice the same. His throat but when you say out, out of its misery, you have to assume that to that animal, death is better because as a human. I can suffer for so long and decide, hey, I'm ready to go. This right. is too much. But that dog could be suffering and say, you know what? This sucks, but I'd still rather be alive. We don't yeah, know what's going that, on in his head. So I feel like those decisions. It is a little, it's a gray area. Like, mm, I, I give yeah, you that. But again, like, you have a responsibility to this pet. And if you're getting clear evidence from your vet saying, you know, this is what's happening. This is how much it's going to cost to keep him alive. This is how much it's going to cost to keep him alive. Cost is very different than the welfare of the dog. Well, I'm saying right? that's now it's that's a factor. our personal it's a kind of thing. that plays in. Yeah, but it's it's not a moral factor on what we're talking about. No, I just, mora- so I don't think, no. Don't bring morally, I it. feel like if an animal, right, is being is suffering, I feel when we when we have responsibility over it, a pet. Mm. Obviously, there's animals in nature suffering. I mean, we can't really do anything about that. So they're just fucked because they can't communicate. We're just going to assume that they're better. They off could dead. communicate, just not with us. True. I mean, they have their own Where language. Where is that line, though? I mean, like, so we go down I mean. to We don't we really know when they're ready to die. We go die. down to cell? We go down to single cell organisms, which is life? We, we I mean, we going down to, where, where, is that, where is that line? Pragmatism, sir. Euthanasia? No. Are we still on euthanasia? Not... No, no, not euthanasia. I'm saying, know. like, where, where is the, the life value? That I guess that's what I'm getting at. Like, I So we're like talking about we animals. We should respect all life. And I, I think plants, yeah. too. I mean, I don't think, obviously, we need to eat plants, and yeah. we're going to destroy plants. Just it's either plants or, or meat. Right. So I think, you know, we should still respect them. What makes one more important than the other? The carbon footprint. 
the sentience of it. Jesus Christ. The sentience Lord. of it. This question has been answered 17 times. Dude. I, I, I can't I can't ever fathom. George, what, I, is, what does sentient like mean? Humans. No, I, they suffer. You might not think they suffer just like us, but they still suffer. I, I can't imagine in, in, a, in a world, in a life cycle, that where animal life is more valuable than plant life or vice versa. I, I can't imagine that. I can't see that. So you don't based see... off of feelings alone. So you don't the, think a, well, again. You don't think a deer's life is different than a blade of grass? I would. Well, how about a deer's life versus a thousand-year sequoia tree? Well, no. I just. I mean, just it's the same thing. I get what he's saying. No, no, no. You know, wait, if, wait. if you're looking everything objectively, not how we yeah, feel about, about it, not how, not how the animal feels about it, or the plants feel about it, or we feel about it. Who is the who is the overall judge to say we're more important than a plant or plant to animal? Or a deer or animal is more important us? than a sequoia you tree know, like or who redwood or ultimately it comes back to the fucking like who who I don't know who determines what's right or wrong, you know, I like think who's it the judge? Comes down to sentience, you know, because we have to Yeah, but that's only because we are sentient. You know, we can yeah, relate to so what pain animals. is like. You know, like Plants we can't. Aren't. Man, but that's according to us. And we need to eat we them can't to get survive, into a head so therefore it's of a fucking blade of grass. It's just a vibe justifiable to eat plants and consume plants because we need to, to you survive. know what it is it's just like we have on the podcast two out of three you know we have the two out of three rule if two out of a three agree it is what it is where if if you ask animals and people hey who should die first <laughs> it's probably gonna be the plants but anywho i'm just uh let's wrap it up but i, I want to let everybody know if if you do give a shit about my opinion my opinion on eating animals would be obviously i'd do it but I don't. I don't yep, agree yep. with any kind of factory farming shit. You know, I know that, um, and maybe you can probably shed some light on this before we wrap it up. Actually, a lot of times you buy food that's labeled as what is it called, like H H F A C or something. George, FDA it's like approved? no, not FDA approved. It's it's like specifically humane treatment. It oh, might be like H T A C. George, can you look that up? What what group or what organization measures how animals are yes, treated so humanely or not? And yeah, and, and what I know it comes Whole down Foods to has a whole scale. Yeah, but when, well, hold on, because that, that scale, that HFAC or whatever it's called, whatever organization oversees the humane treatment of animals, they just have standards that a farm has to adhere to, right. which means that, okay, so maybe that which turkey isn't going to be in a two-by-two two pen. It's going to be in a three-by-three three pen, you know, and it has to have just, barely just, enough room to be able to, like, stand. Like, for an animal to be considered by the government as humanely treated... I think it has to just be able to stand up and lay down and stretch out. If it has enough room to do that, that's considered humane. You know what I'm saying? Now imagine it is a human, bro. Uh, if yeah, you were just I mean, in a box and all you could do is yeah, lay we do down. We do that every day. We put people out. in prison, pr in prisons. Exactly. And those, and those, it, you make a great point because is that hum the people, inhumane? it's very inhumane. And, and even though it's inhumane, we still only do that to people that have made decisions that broke laws or did you know wrong things. They're being punished. It's a punishment. It's not a natural way of life where and from a lot the of these ones, animals, if the I could natural just say, way, the ones that way stay in their cells for a very long time, the way pigs do when they when they're you know with their young, they are there to protect the majority of people. They've obviously hmm. committed murder, committed crime, and it's to protect all. society. I'm not saying all, Most. but usually if it's like a drug deal or something like that they're not getting life in prison they're not getting years in, pr pr uh, in prison right. you know it's that it's, is 150 percent inaccurate let's not i i get i get what you're saying way, yeah. yeah you can't say ultimately we can we can agree that the prison system is to punish people from doing things that the law deems as wrong. right and to protect it's, it's a punishment society. system because we but, don't want murderers and rapists and you know all these people that we want put mm. away for you know away for years we don't people, want them roaming people our people go into prison for you know non robbing yeah robbing, i'm not saying i'm not saying they're not but i'm also you got to keep it vague just keep it vague it's it's animals. a means of punishment it's not a means of hey you're born and on day 1 you're trapped yeah, you in a prison you know what i mean you you have an execution date and again day. we have moral agency we should know right from wrong mm. and that's you know that's how we as a society live Animals, George, I mean, they're innocent. Out? They're so fucking innocent, and they don't have moral agency when it comes to knowing right from wrong. When it comes to carnivores, like you know, eating to survive and stuff. 
and they're innocent. I mean, they don't they don't True. deserve. We treat them worse than we do, you know, the people that you're advocating for that are locked up. We treat them a hell of a lot worse than that, and they are completely innocent. They never did anything to us. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, that's very subjective again. It's not subjective. I mean, well, what, what did a cow you, do to you? What does a pig do? That's subjective. What, yeah. uh, what do what these animals do to you, do? Jay? Well, hold on. I mean, uh, again, you, you're picking selective animals. I mean, like, <laughs> well, you said, it, you we, said it's uh, not yeah. subjective. I mean, I, I, I'm picking the ones I could, target. I could I'm not say, talking about self-defense. I'm not talking about a lion coming at, at uh, me. Or okay, but I am. And I'm talking about, let's say, a pit bull that tries to bite you. That's Shoot self-defense. It. Shoot it right in That's the dick. That's self-defense. I have no problem killing an animal if I need to to survive. Right. I have a problem killing an animal because it tastes good and because it's what I'm used to when I know better, when yeah. I know what they go through. But and you I say know no better, options. like... You know, <laughs> people will, you know, the truth goes you can through go round three and stages. Round. <laughs> no, no, listen, the, the truth you has sure? three you stages. Might need one. It's ridiculed, okay, which yeah. this, I feel like veganism, it's in between getting ridiculed and being, yeah, laugh it. So it's laughed at, yeah. then it's violently opposed, and then it's accepted. And I think that's I'm, not true at all. I think I'm it insane. is true. It is as far oh, as social not. movements go. Please, yeah. well, can as you social movements. Yes, yeah. but that doesn't mean that's it's it morally is. right. Listen, social I, I, movements are. It's it's when people sp- speak up for injustices, yeah. when there's victims involved and people are t- but, are targeted. Just listen to what I'm saying. saying. Slavery kind of went through that Slavery same process. Did women's rights. Well, listen, women's to rights what, listen, listen to what I'm saying. Just because the majority believes something to be right, that doesn't mean it's right. No, says who? It only takes. Right. I mean, that's all you. That's all you can kind of base on the majority at this point. I mean, if you're no, if you're not gonna, not, that's not if you, that's if, not if, correct. The at all. Hold on. If there's no against. if there's no way to indefinitely prove something that's right or wrong, the only logical sense, the only sensible thing is to go with the majority. What else do you do? Right. That's what we're doing now. I mean, no, that's not correct so what, at all. What is correct? There, there, there's faith based uh, morality that has nothing to do with majority. So if your faith meaning who told you it's not it's not right this is or, not about me I'm no I, I'm not saying you specifically I'm saying you in general like who told anybody that it's not right to kill all right so something that has to do with morals where, where right? did it come from if it's if it's morally how do you define whether or not something's morally wrong I'm asked, or right I'm me personally I'm telling you my personal uh, it's a faith based system so it's faith based yes somebody else they go off of legality okay so what's the true Right and wrong. There isn't one. Well, I can defend mine. Can you defend yours? Yeah. Not you specifically. I'm saying anybody else. All right. You you, you can use legality, and I'm going to say, all right, well, all right. A bunch of guys sat around and said that it wasn't right, so that means it's not right. So what is your defense that, I mean, I'm only using this because you said faith-based. Yeah. God says it's right and wrong? Yeah. The Bible? I mean, I could use that, yeah. I, I could defend so. that. Do you know that we didn't start eating animals until sin? came to this world do you know that the garden of eden the way god intended life it was a vegan world i don't know if i necessarily agree with that but <laughs> i'm just saying you can look into it but the garden of eden they were vegan and sin people didn't that's, start eating that's, animals that's, until sin came into this world well that's not very that's not true at all that's not and scripturally god also accurate said that you know that's not scripturally accurate and that's not true at all where is that from where's that info from because in I don't know whether on, it's wait, not a truth. Let, let me, I'm not let me a Bible really advocate, fast. and I'm not a that advocate. I just want to know where you got that info, because I know he probably there's got his info from the Bible. There's, right? Yeah, there's scriptures. There's there scriptures. there I are can't dietary laws yeah. in Leviticus that explain exactly what man should eat. So I mean, like, I I don't know where you got your information from. Probably from the same spot. I mean, there. There's, it's not from scripture. It is from scripture. Absolutely not. You could not. see. Okay, I mean, is there a way we could look? Yeah, yeah, George can look that, that up. up. Vegan yeah. in scripture. That's probably the best way. There, there is never a point in scripture where they say so solely eat. Uh, well, I know for no, a fact. No, but there's also, there's also something that doesn't say we need to eat meat. No, it says that we can. Okay, but just because we can do something, should we? Well, does based, it make it hold wrong on. if we do? Jenny and Jay, let it me does interject. If there's a victim involved. You have, Jenny, you have to remember. That's, you, uh, our, that's, that's your Jenny, you have personal. to remember. What he just said is that his moral compass for writing wrong, right and wrong is faith-based, which I can't knock him for that. You know, a lot of people right, live... Right, no, and I, and I totally agree with that. You know, faith, it says in the Bible that thy, thou shall not kill. I mean, you could interpret it as humans. No, 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 but morally, say, he probably... 
like they were when, talking about humans, but all this comes I'm down not, to, I think, I is old, no, 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 I'm not trying to. <laughs> no, I know you're not. And, <laughs> and again, a there, there's a lot of shit that you that you say that I agree with because he's a buffoon. I still like the and food he you says brought. shit. No that, matter what, <laughs> well, it was good. <laughs> No, but I just, I just, I only, ha- I feel like I have to defend his stance for a second because he said that his true um, judgment of what's right and wrong is faith based, and if his faith is telling him that hey, you can eat animals, yeah, then no, it, it's really I, tough to convince somebody that their faith is right. wrong. But then again, the Bible says a lot of crazy they shit. Did. Jay. I mean, they condone the, slavery right? too. Right, they you right. can't, can't really just too, like but... live by word by word verbatim what slavery the Bible says. Still happens today. Are That's you, why I feel, but it's not. I mean, you don't say well, he's o- right. No, he's okay with slavery. He he thinks it should happen. Well, either <laughs> whether or not, not he thinks the, that doesn't mean I'm not twist twisting the anything. Right. The, vi- the Bible said I mean, I slavery is okay. No, no, I acknowledge And you said you live verbatim I, by the Bible. Hold on. You I, said I, word for word, whatever the Bible says you're into. But he also said he's against <laughs> animal cruelty. I 150% acknowledge what is happening today. There's 40 million slaves today. It's been a, it's been a part of our human history. That's just what it is. Do you think it should continue or not? I it. don't really give a fuck if it does or doesn't. To tell you the truth, it's just what humans do. Yeah, but just because we do something doesn't make it right. Do or wrong. Do you we think if it wasn't a evolved. law, would you be okay with owning a slave? Sure, why not? Oof. I say we wrap so this shit up. So he obviously doesn't. <laughs> I just I mean, you never up. put yourself in the victim's point of view. That's obvious. And you, you don't really live by that golden rule by treating others the way you'd want to be treated. Because if you feel no, no, like I if do. you should... I absolutely do. But you just said you would own a slave if it was legal. What is it? Well, no, I just wouldn't say... Like, would you, you want to be a slave? No, obviously All right, I so just by saying that, that's it's contradictory, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, you might have an argument there to some, to some degree. Uh, all I'm saying is that, it, it you know, it's... It's not as bad, I guess, as what everybody wants to paint it as. That's all, that's what I'm it's saying. It's not good. I'm and not d- saying the stats alone. When I tell you, I think that it's worse than people realize it. Ninety nine percent. You talking about slavery? You talking about what, what are we talking about here? We're talking about animals. Well, well which is we're slavery? About, yeah, which is slavery? They are enslaved. For, hell yeah, they're enslaved. They have they have no. And we're, we're playing God with their life. We breed them and we yeah. kill them. We were allowed to do that. Will. We were allowed to do that maybe yeah. back then. No, but now do today. Do you honestly back think then, a loving God? Do you now think, my, no, seriously, woman. Jay. Do you think a loving God, knowing we have cruelty-free options, yeah. and knowing that he made those creatures, just like he made us, he made those creatures to feel, and, and, and he made them sentient, do you really think that he would be happy with what we're doing to them right now and pretty much destroying our planet and our health? Yes, and I'll tell you why. Because that happy God that you're talking about Ugh. is actually states in scripture that he's an angry God and a jealous God. He's and a forgiving he, God he's the and one that established God. our dietary laws saying that we can eat animals. So, I mean. I don't. Yeah, we could agree. To that's a whole nother. We're going to have to have you back. <laughs> that on. is a whole nother conversation. We'll have to have you back stating, on, Jenny, you know, because scriptural fact. I don't I don't think we went you know this hard for this long without taking a break like th- this was great and yeah. i i no i do i appreciate you coming through and um <laughs> yeah no you came you came through and you you know you defend your, I hope you, you defended your stance yeah. no i don't because Jay at dis- the end of the day he disrespected the shit out of you and yeah. i would feel offended it's, it's no, not, no, no 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 i'm not here for me like honestly tonight i was here to speak up for the animals and that's that was my stance on it so whether you know, I could feel yeah, a crazy. certain way about it. I, you know, I knew you guys obviously had opposing views. I just what? hope, you know. Please don't categorize views. me with him. Well, no, no, no. I'm it, vegan. Honestly, like I'm only, the I'm only eating. I don't ride. The fa- I just, I try. Food. I, I try to. I can understand <laughs> both sides, and ultimately, I feel like I don't think your way is right. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna be honest with you as a vegan, okay. but I don't think not giving a fuck about how animals feel is right either. You know, I just feel like to me there's a, a middle ground which seems logical. Like I, I'm gonna continue to eat animals. Well, what would that mean Hold to on. you though? If you, your perfect picture. My perfect picture is that more people are directly involved with the process of an animal actually dying to get into their table, because I think we'll consume a lot less of them because it's, it's a lot more work, and I think we'll appreciate it more when we eat it because we see the process of it. So I, I try to do my best to, and again, I'm not like perfect. I'm slap the shit out of you. No, I, I'm, I'm being honest. No, no, you know what I'm saying? Okay, like yeah. I told, like I just went and got my, you know, my, like I'm taking the steps to do what I can to hunt for my own meat because I don't want to support these big farms. And even though I try to buy free range, you know, grass fed, grass finished beef, 
all it is is that they, yeah, these farms matter. can still meet the minimum standard to sell right. it as that. At the end of the day, I try to, matter. you know, I try to get a lot of my shit, you know, like our dairy, my cheese, my eggs from like local farms where I can actually see the chickens running around. You know, like they're my neighbors. You know what I'm saying? Like I see what's going on. It's a house with like a little barn. They, they don't have some high great industrial fucking right, chick shredder you that could still say sick. what happens at those farms aren't it, it, yeah, it's you know not standard... it's not a, yeah it's i mean i see their chickens running around you know i see them i see their cows Do for you know a couple what years to the male chickens um when i mean i saw i saw what happened in that video they just they're get not profitable right yeah no so they're, they're not yeah. profitable um, and with dairy, you know it, that the cows have to be impregnated. They carry their calf for nine months, just like humans do. Right. And then at the second day of life, these calves get taken, taken from away. So I get we it. could drink cow titty milk. And I'm and imagine all if it was about pig the titty days. milk. Imagine if it was or dog human titty, milk. titty milk. Or better yet, what if it was human, our own species? I'd be all milk. for How it. How grossed out I want some Indonesian titty milk right now. But just because right it now. comes from a cow, we think <laughs> now, it's okay to suck off the I, titties pretty much. I try to, you know, like, again, it's I'm not, listen. It's breast milk at the listen, end of the day. You're like I'm not, using that word. It's for, <laughs> titty, 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 <laughs> ass and titty. No. It's true. But here's the thing, like it's it may not, not be, it may what not be ideal. What other option do we have? Uh, it may plant not... milk. We have a hell of a lot more did you hear options what did? on the. What on the other dairy option? <laughs> so if, I, you, if you had to suck them yourself, you drink plant milk. I'm not. I'm not. Just you know, saying. obviously know. my you obviously my, <laughs> obviously my diet isn't perfect, but I would say probably a third of the time we get milk, you know, we grab almond milk instead of you know like that's fucking good. regular Listen, milk. And it's that's what I feel like. I feel like I'm not. I'm. I don't think of I'm taking steps toward veganism. But I do think that I I don't want to support this big factory farming. Right. I don't want to help. Which that, you know unfortunately what I'm we. But do. I I'm not we I do. don't and I don't think I ever want to stop eating meat. Is it delicious? Okay. Yes, but I I also feel like hey man like. But what about the small farms? There's there's that's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Like well, small farms still. I mean it's. What it's happens better. there? It, it could be. It's better, but okay. at the end of the day, I mean. That's all you can ask for. No, it's not. It, For now, I mean, it's a step. It's because a step. we don't need to, so we're still needlessly killing these animals, which we feel better buying free-range, grass-fed, which is a hell of a lot worse for the environment, by the way. But we do this to kind of ease our conscience. Which, to like justify day, what we're doing. They end up at the same sl- the same slaughterhouse. Eggs. I mean, you probably eat dairy cows in your burger. I mean, it's cheap burger. They all get sent to the same slaughterhouse, so there's no. There's no there's no local farms animals. that slaughter their own animals on site. Oh, I'm sure there are. So, but so you I'm can't sure say are, they all go to the same one. Then, if if we're talking know, about I mean buying from local like, farms, I, I mean, because they if, all get a knife across the throat, okay? And because 99 percent of factory farm, like that's what we eat. Hmm. We don't eat that one percent. And even if we do strive for that, like it's at the end of the day, this. But is that is that a better alternative? It is it a better death? Is it a better alternative? If if the you had alternative is to not eat well, them. if you if you had the choice <laughs> between only one, if you had a choice and you said, "Hey, Josh and Jay," if I said, "I'm going to do one of two things, Jenny," I'm either going to go to my local farm where I see that cow and I know he kills it on site and I see how it lives and I'm going to eat that cow, or I'm going to go to Stop and Shop and buy, you know, a cow that was factory farmed. Which would you rather have me? Neither. Because of my stance, it might be a little biased because obviously I know it doesn't need to happen. You know, I I keep seeing that third option. Just let them. The third option is not there, though. If it's not, but is it there for you? No. (laughs) Excuse me. So you're saying so you're too selfish. Too selfish. All right. Okay. But just because you're selfish doesn't justify it, right? I'm not asking for justification. I'm just asking for what if you had to choose between one of the two. I would choose the quickest one, which would probably the quickest death, which. I don't think that was your question, but the quickest death, as in how long it takes from start to finish to kill them, or the quickest right death, like how long they lived before they were killed. I would choose the quickest death. That's and that's what I feel like, yeah. you know, because me again, like a deer that's living in the woods, that if that arrow or that bullet hits him through the brain, which it's supposed to, like a, a kill shot, and it dies instantly. I mean, there's not really a lot. It's still dying. Don't get me wrong. Humans are still killing that to right. eat it, but it's not suffering. You know, it's, it's probably suffering, suffering a lot less than it would had it been eaten alive by a wolf, right? Or right. A bear. And at the end of the day, again, it comes down to: Did you need to kill it, or did you just want to to eat it? But something was going to kill and eat it. Why not us? Because we don't need to. What is going to kill? But neither it? does a bear. A bear. A bear could live on foraging berries. Yeah, but, but they choose bears to don't like have moral well, hold on. agency. But they they choose well. 
Who, they, they don't know what put it this right way from wrong. But they know killing and not kill. Like they're picking berries and eating them. They could live off that, but they choose to eat the salmon because it tastes better. Okay, you know, but they again, enjoy that more. We can't justify our actions how do, with animals fair, because you got again, me there. Fair, we, fair. we have moral agency. We know right from wrong. But you don't know. We can't. You can't tell me whether the bear knows right from wrong. You don't think. I don't think in bear thoughts. You know, well, like, no. They I mean, might they kill their young. They don't think anything of it. You know, they kill. They kill they, their little runts. They rape each other. They sleep with each other's brothers and sisters. Like so do humans. They incest. Yeah, but then you know that it's fucked up. You know, if mm. a human did that, you'd be like, whoa. Well, the humans that don't do it know it's fucked up. Does every bear kill their young? No, I'm sure it's just. I'm sure that's probably more of like. If it's a run, if it's weak, like they just decide. So to almost do that. as like euthanasia. Damn. Yeah. Maybe. All right. So let's wrap this <laughs> shit up. Um, anyways, Jenny, thanks for coming. Thank you Jay, so much you got for having you me, guys. No, no, no. I, I, I want to. In closing, I want to say thank you very much. My right. pleasure. Know, I, Jerry again, Springer's I final thoughts. Not, <laughs> I do not ever, 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 ever want to. You know, it's not about I got you. I, I'm really trying to. You know, me personally, I'm just trying to understand. Yeah. No, and you know, I, I appreciate it, and thanks so much for having me on the mic and just talking about this. We didn't even touch about any this. other topic there's, besides me. <laughs> well, I only talked about... so much more. Yes, yeah, yeah, because I knew that this I'd was... I'd love to I knew there was this. a lot to learn. Um, yeah. But one thing that's cool about Jenny is she's also a real estate agent. So before you yes. go, I might use um, you. Yeah. Yes. Before you go, like if anybody does want to buy a house from a certified vegan, holla at your from girl. Where can they find you? This guy. Um, well, they Instagram, can find Facebook. me. I have a business Facebook page. It's called uh, J Costa Real Estate. Holla. J period Costa Real Estate. Um, or you can reach me on Instagram for social for plant based. I'm at plant based Jenny. At plant based Jenny. At plant based. Such a Jenny. vegan yeah. tag. I like it. <laughs> vegan and hashtag one, vegan cat. Yeah, you could find my email and phone number and all that good stuff. All right, cool. So if you're looking for a house, hit her up. Other than that, in Jay, mass, other in than that, other other than that, <laughs> guys, love the animals, love the food. Try this Asian uh, veggie veggie, veggie fun, fun spot. Veggie fun. Hey, veggie, veggie fun. fun you owe us. At least 200 Bang. for the plug. I'm about to feast <laughs> on that tonight. Um, all right, guys. Yeah, thanks for listening. We're out. What's up, guys? Hey, this episode was brought to you by Division Street Auto. Ajo? Ajo. Mm? Division Street Auto. Sorry, I had, a, I had a whole bottle of tequila. Top showroom, gallery, and supply. Oneville Tire. J W and Son Construction and Donkey Dodgers Poker. You can catch all of them on Facebook and or Google. Later. <laughs>